Chapter 381. Path forward, it is my utmost pleasure to come to visit, said Wang Wei with a splendid smile, which made Ji Yuan slightly blushed. Luckily, she quickly controlled herself so as not to embarrass both her sect and herself. After a few pleasantries, Ji Yuan led Wang Wei up the mountains of the Eternal Dream sect. As soon as he took a step up the mountain, he felt something strange as he stopped and looked around. But he could not find anything even wondering for a moment whether his feeling was wrong. So, he activated his true vision ability and a look of surprise flashed across his eyes. Is this a dream world? He asked. Sacred Sun, you noticed? Asked Ji Yuan back in surprise. The entire eternal dream sect was the manifestation of a dream. To be precise, someone created a dream world and manifested it into reality. So, all the buildings in the mountains were technical not, real, but just, dream projections. No, not just the buildings. After focusing deeper, Wang Wei could see that all the mountains and terrains in the sect were dream projections. Additionally, the power of dreams could be found everywhere in the environment, helping the sect's disciples to cultivate the Tao of dream quicker, and can even add a bonus to their fighting and recuperating abilities. With a wave of his thoughts, Wang Wei gathered the power of dreams in the surroundings and injected it into his hand. Suddenly, it turned into a demonic arm. The power of dreams is susceptible to the mind. Whatever you desire in a dream, you can materialize, just like a person who could warp reality. So, since Wang Wei wanted his arm to be a demon, it becomes so. Then, he became intrigued. He began to control the dream power in the surroundings to create different things. He first started with simple things like rocks, flowers, woods, swords. Then, he began to build more complex things like houses of different shapes, mountains, rivers, and even people. Meanwhile, Ji Yuan and the other people of the Eternal Dream sect had a look of horror on their faces. The dream force that existed in the sect was there to help the disciples, but it was not something that they easily control as they saw fit. To do so require years of study and practice, and that also applied to their saintess. Yet, some random person who has never studied the Tao of Dream came to their sect and controlled the Dream Force as if it was his home. This kind of talent was simply horrible. I see, this dream world is also a formation, muttered Wang Wei who was somewhat fascinated as he ignored his surroundings. For a moment, he was fascinated by the power of creation granted by dreams, he wondered whether he could use the power of fate to accomplish the same thing. And the answer he came up with was, absolutely. If one day he can control the fate of all things, including matter, it is would be very simple for him to create things out of nowhere. However, that is not the true power of fate. What if one day, he could control the fate of all great Tao? By then, all laws, Tao, our concepts in existence will be nothing but his puppet to manipulate and do as he pleases. At that time, he would probably become omnipotent and omniscient, existing beyond any existing concepts. After thinking about his, Wang Wei suddenly understood his path forward, he had an idea on how to one day control his own fate to become free and unfettered. Immediately, he felt like a weight had been lifted from his shoulder, his mind and spirit became as bright as an exploding star. All the frustration and worry he had about not being able to enter the primordial spirit realm was washed away. He knew that his understanding of his path forward increased his success rate of entering the next realm by 10%, and if it was not because of his Parago quality soul, he could have instantly transformed his soul into a primordial spirit. Congratulations for your epiphany, sacred son, said Ji Yuan with a look of envy. With these people's knowledge, they could tell that Wang Wei had entered a brief state of enlightenment, and based on how his aura become more peaceful, how he easily blended with the surrounding heaven and earth, he should have gained quite a bit. Thank you. Have you thought about cultivating the Tao of Dream? You are very talented in it, said one of the sect's supreme elder. Chen Shishong, are you trying to poach our sacred son? Said Yan Chen as he stared at the person who spoke. I'm just stating a fact. With his talent, it would be a waste not cultivate the Tao of Dream. My young master is talented at everything he does. Dream Tao is just one of the many things he excels at. Chen Shishang's almost choked after hearing this. In this world, there are and have been many geniuses that are simply gifted at everything they do. The sacred son of the Tao opening sect is not the only, nor will he be the last one. So, Chen Shixiang sighed without bringing the subject up again. As for Wang Wei, he did not think he was as talented as this true monarch said. The reason he was able to freely create so many things from the dream force was once, 
his soul was powerful enough to easily control the dream force. Second, there is abundant dream force in the surrounding, and they are docile and do not resist control. Most likely, the great emperor of the sect made them that way to help the disciples. Wang Wei did not have to produce the dream force just control it. So, the process was simpler. Lastly, the objects he created just looked like the real thing and lacked the essence. For example, the people he created only had the appearance of humans. They did not have the anatomy, spirit, or soul of real humans. Only by reaching such a level would it be considered really controlling the dream force. Plus, Wang Wei knew of a person that could do even better than him in as much of a short time. And that person is Dong Lifen that he met during his Qi Luck trial. With her dream manifestation soul, the dream space of this sect would be a paradise for her. Wang Wei theorized that if she was in this dream world, with all the abundant dream force, she could probably fight a saint without having any cultivation. Although her mortal body would probably not last long, she should still be able to fight for a few minutes. My Dao is already set, so it is too late to change now. However, I have some inspiration regarding dreams. If possible, I would like to read some of your sect's scriptures, understanding, and theories about dreams. Wang Wei was not just saying these words to be polite. After seeing this dream world, he realized that it could help with one of his plans after becoming emperor. So, he wanted to lay the foundation now for later. Chen Shixiang readily agreed with Wang Wei's request as it was not a big deal. What the latter was asking was not the cultivation techniques of the sect, but the scriptures of the predecessors and the sages of the past. These kinds of things although valuable but not the point of not exchanging. Not to mention that as a close ally of the Tao opening sect, the eternal dream sect has also exchanged scriptures and even cultivation techniques with the latter. So, the group led Wang Wei to see the sect master. It was a beautiful woman named Tang Zikin. The two had a pleasant conversation but Wang Wei caught on to the fact that the sect master was always secretly asking about how his father was doing. Honestly, Wang Wei had to marvel at his father's charm. It seems that every beautiful woman in his generation had fallen for him or had some meaning to him. He secretly praised his mother for being the final winner but also disdained the women of that generation. How could they not control their emotions and fall for one man? Look at him. He was more handsome than his father, suaver than him, and more powerful than him at his age. Yet, you don't see countless women falling in love with him. All the women in his generation are focused and driven. Their only thoughts are on how to achieve their goals of becoming emperor. In order words, they are full of thoughts on how to defeat or kill him one day. Wang Wei wanted to cry that things were unfair. Anyway, after a conversation with the sect master, he was shown to his resting quarters. The next day, Ji Yuan came to lead him to the scripture storage hall. Chapter 382 Destiny Wang Wei spent the next few days reading about Dream Dao in the scripture storage hall, learning about the basics. During the entire experience, Ji Yuan was always there to accompany him, and explain many things to him so that he could learn faster. Wang Wei gave her a strange look but did not say anything. After all, he was in someone else's place. One day, after their session in the hall, Ji Yuan left to see her master. While sitting in front of Tang Zikin and drinking tea, Ji Yuan remained quiet during the entire ordeal. Little In, is there a problem? She opened her mouth to answer but hesitation made her not dare. If you want to say something, there is no need to hesitate. Master. Why do you want to get close to him? Our eternal dream sect has always been a close ally to the Tao opening sect, replied Tang Zikin while sipping her tea. I know the history of the sect master. Ever since one of our sect masters gave up competing for the throne and married one of the great emperors of the Tao opening sect even though she had a much higher chance at winning, our sects have been great allies. Even since then, Many people from the three great families have intermarried with our sect. However, this is not the reason that we need to lower ourselves to such an extent. Tan Zikin looked at the tea in her cups as she swirled it. Disciple, do you know one of the main differences between an eternal emperor and other great emperors? Ji Yuan pondered for a moment, strength. Yes but not absolute. There have been a few great emperors whose strength has been on par with eternal emperor. For example, the flame emperor, the dusk emperor the Three Purities Emperor, and many more. Tang Zikin paused for a moment as she sipped her tea once again. The difference that I'm referring to is the amount of Tao ancestors and immortal venerables that they can create. No great emperor no matter how powerful they are can compare to an eternal emperor in that aspect. 
This is one of the reasons that the Dao opening sect is one of the most powerful sects currently existing. That's because they have cultivated two great emperors. In the endless void, amongst all the heaven will world, there are many sects who have cultivated more great emperors than them, but the number of sects or factions that has cultivated more than one eternal emperor can be counted in one hand. This is how rare eternal emperors are. Tang Zikan sighed. To become an eternal emperor, talent, strength, wisdom, Tao heart, will, and state of mind need to reach the absolute peak. However, one of the key factors is luck or destiny. Every eternal emperor is born at the right opportune moment because they carry great destiny to them. The Qiyuan emperor spread Tao to the world, the human emperor made humans the protagonist of this world. The absolute beginning emperor should have stopped the harm that Buddhism incense system was doing. Empress Wu regained freedom for all the races in the myriad emperor world and stopped the devastation of the devil race. Emperor Kong spread knowledge to the knowledge, further developing civilization, and was known as a sage. When it comes to the heaven devourer emperor, his destiny was to curb the development of devil cultivators in the myriad emperor world and lead the world to better development. Unfortunately, he was rogue. Of course, destiny does not mean that these people were born to become great emperors. It meant that they fought with all the people in the world and the final winner is the bearing of said destiny. Of course, there are exceptions to these rules. From what Tang Zikan knew, the ancient emperor era was a marvelous time because the destiny or luck to become an eternal emperor was abundant. The entire cultivation civilization had collapsed and was in the process of rebuilding. This is the reason that there was more than one in that period. Technically speaking all the ancestors of that time, like the formation ancestor, pill ancestor, and so on had the opportunity to become eternal emperor. Unfortunately, they failed short at the last minute. Another exception was the sword empress. She is considered one of the few people in history who did not rely on destiny to become an eternal emperor she relied purely on talent and ability to defy the odds. She did not have some great tasks to accomplish or anything along that line. Although historians have attributed her with the glory of elevating Sword Dao to the pinnacle, this was just something she did on her own. Master, what does this have to do with anything? Asked Ji Yuan. After our sect master abandoned the emperor path for the sect of her marriage to Wang Zhang, the latter later proved the Dao while taking the name Turtle Armor Emperor he became the fourth emperor of the Tao opening sect. Back then, our eternal dream sect also had three great emperors and the Tao opening sect was not considered the most powerful sect in the world. Although people still respected them because of their founders, it was nothing compared to now. Ji Yuan frowned not understanding where her master was going with this, however, she listened carefully as she knew that her master liked to rumble on. Maybe it had something to do with age. Of course, Ji Yuan would never say these thoughts out loud. After proving the Tao, the Turtle Armor Emperor rewarded our sects with a few spots of Tao ancestors and immortal venerables. Additionally, the fifth and sixth great emperors of the Tao opening sect also offered one spot to repay the karma back then. However, after that, from the seventh to ninth emperor, we never received any spots as the karma had been paid. Although our sects remained close allied, unfortunately, our sect has not been able to cultivate a great emperor of our own for many years. In conclusion, our sect has not had any ancestors level characters for many years, but what does this have to do with me getting close to him? Asked Ji Yuan. Tang Zikan sighed after hearing this question. She knew very well that her disciple was not the brightest when it comes to political matters. She looked into the distance as she continued. Ever since the catastrophe at the end of the Middle Emperor era, the myriad emperor world has been in a slug. The development has been slow, stagnant, and even somewhat regress. In general, this new emperor era has been quite disappointing as a whole. And many great people of wisdom have foreseen this result long ago. So, they calculated and predicted the time that the new era is coming, and sealed themselves to wake up afterward and cultivate in a prosperous age. According to their calculations, the time for the change of this era is approaching. With Wang Tian's rise in the last generation, Many people thought that the time had finally come. Unfortunately, after Heavenly Tao cut off the path of Supreme, people guessed that this generation would most likely be the one. That the destiny of Eternal Emperor would appear, leading to the birth of an Eternal Emperor and the beginning of a new era. When all the top ten heavenly physiques appeared at the same time when countless Heaven Chosens began to develop and grow, people knew that their guesses were correct. The new Emperor era will end in this generation. Ji Yuan pondered deeply. 
Although she was slow when it comes to certain matters, she was not stupid otherwise she would not become the saintess of the sect. So, after a while, she understood her master's meanings. Wang Wei is one of the people with the highest chances of proving the Tao in this generation, which meant that he might become an eternal emperor. This in turn meant that he will be able to create more Tao ancestors and immortal venerables than any typical great emperors. So, if she could get with him, to become his wife or even concubines, then he can reward the eternal dream sect just like the turtle armor emperor did. But master, after contacting for the past few days, he does not seem to have any interest in me. Tang Zikan glanced at her apprentice and secretly shook her head. She could tell that the little lass felt like it was insulting of her status to try to seduce another person for benefits. And in some ways, she was correct. However, as a sect master, Tang Zikan has to see things differently. Her disciple is not talented enough to fight for the heaven will in this generation, so she has to find another way around. One other option is to wake up another heaven chosen that has been sealed in the sect. However, this act will have lasting effects on her as a sect master, and it did not mean that these people could compete after waking up. After all, just because they were heaven chosens in their time did not mean that they would be so in today's time especially in this glorious age. Chapter 383 Experiment since her apprentice did not want to, the sacred son did not seem interested, Tang Zikan did not force things. After all, in some ways, her apprentice was correct. Plus, her action will not affect the relationship between the two sects. A few days passed, and Wang Wei walked out of the scripture storage hall. He knew that it was about time for him to leave. While walking to his residence, he heard a commotion where a large group of disciples was gathered. He saw that the disciples were not happy based on their facial features. Meanwhile, Ji Yuan who was in front of them also looked upset. At the same time, a young man who had a cocky look on his face was confronting the group. Immediately, he realized the identity of that person. Xiao Songshi. Rank 30th in the Academy's Heaven Chosen Tournament. He is from a supreme level dynasty, however, there are rumors that his real father who abandoned his mother after birth is from an emperor lineage of the sea race. However, the rumors have yet to be confirmed. Wang Wei watched their confrontation from afar and soon got a gist of the situation. Xiao Songshi wanted Ji Yuan to become his wife, however, she rejected him. Nevertheless, he was a persistent guy, so he used a flamboyant method to attract her attention. Challenging her, defeating her, and suppressing her. He probably believed that as long as he displayed his might and domineering personality, she would change her mind. Unfortunately for him, although he is way more powerful than her, this is the site of the eternal dream sect. As the saintess, she is the person who can control the greatest number of dream force amount the disciples and even eclipsed some elders in that area. As such, he was defeated. No, to be precise, he was slapped to death. Luckily, Xiao Songxi's name is on the Heavenly Dao Protection Book as one of the top 30 of the tournament, so he cannot die. Using this fact, he has been challenging Ji Yuan almost every day, he's essentially using his immortality to pester her. After knowing the situation, Wang Wei gave this group a last glance before leaving back to his residence. Unlike Ji Yuan, he was a politically minded person and could see things in different ways. The heaven chosens in the book who have lower status have been using their immortality to cause trouble everywhere. Even in the Tao opening sect, a few people came to challenge and Li Jun had to take care of it. This has been a very common thing in the myriad emperor world for countless generations. Nevertheless, although these people are impossible to kill, there are still ways to deal with them. Threaten the people behind them to make them behave. So, as long as the eternal dream sect talked to the supreme dynasty behind Xiao Songxi, the latter should have stopped. Yet, this is not the case. This can only mean three things. 1. The Great Yi Dynasty has someone secretly supporting them so they are not afraid of the eternal dream sect's warning. The other is that Xiao Songxi is trying to use the hand of the sect to deal with the Great Yi Dynasty. From what Wang Wei knew, the latter's relationship with his father, the current king, was not ideal. Of course, there is also another possibility. Sect master Tang Zikan is interested in Xiao Songxi's possible relation to the sea race and lets things unfold without intervening. Wang Wei was interested in this Xiao Songxi for a few reasons but it was not ideal to meet him. So, later that night, he secretly sent a letter to him pretending to be Ji Yuan to meet in a mountain range a few hundred thousand miles away. Wang Wei stood in a plain with a bottle of wine in his hand as he drank and looked at the sky. He lowered his head to look at the person next to him and said, 
You don't seem surprised that it was not Ji Yuan that invited you here? She hates me very well, so how could she ask me to meet privately? Especially away from the sect where her strength is weaker than mine, replied Xiao Songxi calmly. Ever since he received the note, he knew that something was wrong. As for Wang Wei, he knew that this was a cunning guy. He was born in a ruler family, where kinship was as thin as any pieces of paper. On top of all that, his father and siblings hated him with passion. He and his mother were ostracized both from the family and from the political landscape. Xiao Songxi managed to survive and even gained some power in the Great Yi Dynasty. Obviously, this was a cunning, intelligent, and ambitious person. Anyway, you're here and that's all that matters. So, for what reason has Sacred Sun called me here? Asked Xiao Songxi with a solemn face. The only reason he came here with confidence is that he was not afraid of death. Nevertheless, he was not like those other brainless other heaven chosens who used their immortality recklessly. After all, this pseudo-immortality only lasted until the primordial spirit realm. Amongst the thirty people who have it, once the first person entered the primordial spirit realm, then a countdown began for the others before it is removed. According to records, if all thirty of them plan together to delay the time to enter the primordial spirit realm, Heavenly Tao will still take it away after a certain amount of time. I'm very interested in testing your immortality, said Wang Wei as he put away his drink. Xiao Songxi squinted his eyes after hearing this. However, immediately afterward, a fighting intent appeared in his eyes. He watched the final battle between Wang Wei and Ji Song. At that time, he knew the vast difference between him and the top ten. After that fight, he was momentarily lost thinking about the strength of these people, not to mention all the other geniuses that did not participate in the trial and were secretly hiding for the opportune moment before showing up. At some point, he even wanted to give up on the emperor path and just be content with ruling over the great Yi dynasty. However, thinking about his hatred for that man and what he did to him and his mother, his spirit was once reignited. After all, if he wants revenge, if he wants to drag that man in front of his mother to apologize, having the strength to defeat him was not enough. He had to have the strength to suppress the people behind him. Xiao Songxi took a fighting pose as he prepared for battle. He wanted to see if had closed the gap to these top ten heaven chosens in the past few hundred years. Wang Wei just smiled casually. Then, before the latter could even respond, he instantly appeared in front of him as if teleporting. He grabbed his face with one hand and flew to the sky with unmatched speed. He flew so fast that he was like a comet entering the atmosphere of a planet. The friction created by his rapid speed began to burn Xiao Songxi's body into ashes. By the time Wang Wei reached about a million meters into the sky, Xiao Songxi's fleshly body was burned into ashes, leaving a few burned skin in his hand. After clenching his fist, those were turned into nothingness as well. He looked at the millions of particles that were gathering not far from him. A few seconds later, a completely intact Xiao Songxi appeared in front of him, albeit with a very confused look on his face. Xiao Songxi was genuinely confused. He was just preparing for battle. He just blinked or so he thought he did when a strong force grabbed him by the face and dragged him to the sky. And before he could even react or understand what was going on, he was burned to ashes. Wang Wei did not care about the latter's confusion. He pointed his finger at him and jabbed forward. This time, Xiao Songxi immediately reacted. A vision suddenly appeared behind him, showing a humongous serpent that was swallowing the entire world. Although he did not like to use the power of that man's bloodline, Xiao Songxi was not a pedantic person so he knew when and when not to be stubborn. With the vision, plus his second layer of the heaven stage in the divine body stage, he could now use the power of heaven and earth to increase his strength by twenty-seven fold. With this, he was confident to block this item and even have enough time to counterattack. Unfortunately, he was wrong. A more mighty power of heaven and earth easily destroyed his defense, then, Another powerful spiritual power went straight to his soul, annihilating it. Then, Wang Wei watched Xiao Songxi's soul recover as if nothing happened. He wondered whether Heavenly Tao saved his soul from completely being annihilated, or created one with the exact memory or strength as Xiao Songxi. If it was the latter, that would be fine. But if it was the former, things would be complicated. His father and grandfather once placed their name on the book. At some point, they must use this advantage to their benefit by dying. If their current soul is nothing but a copy made by Heavenly Tao with the same memories, that would be bad. 
that would mean that Heavenly Tao was planning something nefarious with this book. However, after thinking about it for a while, it was unlikely. For once, Emperor Kong should have considered this fact when making the book. Additionally, many emperors have placed their names on that book and they were fine. Even if the ones who placed their names had problems, the ones who did not would still discover something or suspect something. So, Wang Wei removed these thoughts from his head and focused on his experiment on Xiao Songshi. Chapter 384 Chess piece after Xiao Songshi was resurrected. Wang Wei proceeded to kill him again with a punch. This time, he killed more than a hundred times in a row before stopping. As he looked at the latter who had a frown on his face, Wang Wei also made some discovery about this protection. No matter whether he destroyed Xiao Songshi's body or soul, he will return back to the peak state, and that included his state of mind. Any person who died more than a hundred times in a row without any resistance would have some fear, despair, anger, or any kind of negative emotion. Yet, Xiao Songshi was perfectly fine. Wang Wei did not think that it was the latter's powerful will that made him all right. Obviously, when bringing him back to life, Heavenly Tao's protection also eliminated the danger to his mood and state of mind. That way, he is always in perfect performance shape. From what he learned about this protection, it was created to encourage the heaven chosen of this world to fight one another without restriction and thus creating more powerful great emperors. However, it seemed that over the years, people have stopped using it that way or play less emphasis on this aspect. Truth be told, Wang Wei was a little envious of this immortal-like ability. If he had it, he would have used it to swim on the river of fate and uncovered its mystery. With his understanding and undying nature, heaven knows what he would learn from there. Maybe this is the reason that Heavenly Tao did not want me to place my name in there, thought Wang Wei, however, he quickly removed these regrets from his mind. There was no point in being stuck in the past. His intuition told him that it was harmful to him to place his name on the book. Although to this day he still did not know the reason, he still believed that he made the right decision. All these thoughts flashed across Wang Wei's mind in an instant before focusing on the task at hand. He was not finished testing the limit of the protection, nor did he learn anything substantial from it. So, his little experiment must continue. He flew toward Xiao Songshi once again with absolute speed. This time, the latter was barely able to react and enacted a black barrier to protect his body. Unfortunately, Wang Wei's hand easily broke through it and grabbed his head. The moment the hand touched his face, Xiao Songshi felt a terrifying pressure that rendered him momentarily powerless. His origin essence, cultivation base, and even soul were suppressed. Then, a void cracked appeared behind him and he was dragged into it. Wang Wei floated in the void outside of the myriad emperor world. He looked at his empty hand with a frown. Just now, he tried to take Xiao Songshi outside of the world to see if the effect of the protection would be useless there and could kill him. However, midway through, a strange spatial fluctuation came from Xiao Songxi's body and he was teleported back inside. Not convinced, Wang Wei returned inside and tracked the mark he left on him. Then, he tried again to take him outside, however, no matter how many times, he tried, he still failed. After thinking about it for a moment, he realized that his idea was not that original. Immortality is the pursuit of all cultivators. He was sure that many people have studied the heaven chosens on that book extendedly in over countless generations. Not only for their immortality but also to find a way to kill them. And trying to get them outside of the influence of heavenly Tao seemed the obvious possible way to kill these people. Yet, there has been no news or information about anyone succeeding in doing so. Nevertheless, Wang Wei still had one last thing to try before giving up. He knew that it was more efficient to read about the experiments the sect did on these people. There should be records in the secret archives. He waved his hand and a large mountain at least ten times the size of Mount Everest appeared. It landed on top of Shaosong before being inserted on the earth. Many runes were on the mountain, serving as a seal. He wanted to seal Shao Songshi. Even if he could not kill him, he wanted to know if he could seal him. And the answer was negative. A few minutes after being sealed, another spatial fluctuation suddenly manifested itself and Xiao Songshi appeared intact in front of the mountain. Wang Wei waved his hand a small bead appeared in front of him. This was a spatial treasure that contained a small world inside, and it was supreme tier level. He absorbed Xiao Songshi inside trying once again to isolate him from Heavenly Tao since the world inside was considered another heaven and earth. 
Plus, the small world inside can be used for sealing purposes. Unfortunately, this plan also failed as Xiao Songxi left the small world after a few minutes and appeared in front of him, also intact. This time, Wang Wei did not attack, just gave the latter a deep look before returning to the Eternal Dream sect. Meanwhile, Xiao Songxi looked at the sky with a slight look of despair. This was not because of his constant death and being sealed, but because of the vast difference in strength. His opponent just toyed with him and there was nothing he could do about it. If it was not for the Heavenly Dao protection, he would have died instantly without even being able to react. This kind of powerlessness and helplessness made Xiao Songxi despaired as he could not see hope for the future. Do I have no chance at becoming an emperor and avenge what that man did to me and my mother? He looked at the sky with a daze as he felt that everything was meaningless, that everything that he insisted on was useless. Many voices appeared in his head telling him to just give up and just be content about being the next ruler of the Great Yi Dynasty. No, there is still a chance for me, muttered Xiao Songxi. I can use the power of the enemy to strengthen myself before destroying them. A crazy plan began to form in his head. I can return to the Beizi clan and use their resources to further strengthen my bloodline, and slowly gain power from the inside. Then, when I become a great emperor, I can destroy their clan and force that man to kneel in front of my mother's grave for the rest of his miserable life. A ruthless light flashed across his eyes after thinking about this. He did not care about biting the hand that feed him, or anything related to gratitude. As long as he can avenge his mother, everything else was fine. After making his plan, Xiao Songxi left. The next day, Wang Wei discovered this fact and a slight smile appeared on his face. It seems that my plan worked. After last night's stimulation, this Xiao Songxi should have a strong desire to become more powerful. And the best way to do so is to further activate the sea race bloodline inside his body, thus, he must return to his roots. Of course, there was a possibility of breaking his Tao heart and ending his emperor path. However, after growing up in such a harsh environment, the latter not only survived but thrived. His Tao heart cannot compare to a normal individual and his chances of breaking were reduced. This was what Wang Wei wanted from the beginning, Xiao Songxi's connection to the sea race. Because of the location, few things are known about the sea race as they are very xenophobic. Over the years, many sects have used different means to infiltrate there, whether through spies or exchanging resources, but no one managed to infiltrate the core of any of the most powerful clans amongst the sea race. As for Wang Wei, he was both interested in acquiring news about them especially regarding any heaven chosens of their clans. He was also interested in the resources underneath the ocean. According to his father, the sea probably has even more resources than the central continent. Many great emperors have gone to explore deep inside in search of materials to bathe in their Tao source to cultivate emperor ores or herbs. Unfortunately, because of the geography, the sea race, and how vast the sea is, it is very difficult to mine resources there. Additionally, many people could see that if left without restriction, one day, the sea race might become a danger to the human race. Hopefully, this Xiao Songxi will become a useful chess piece. Wang Wei and Yan Chen bid farewell to sect master Tang Zikan before returning home. He did not immediately rush to the heavenly abode world but spent a year with his family. After all, he has not seen them for over two centuries. So, he decided to relax his mind and make sure that he was in perfect shape before heading there and trying to enter the primordial spirit realm. During this time, he talked to his grandma and grandfather from his mother's side, he promised to finally visit the Yu clan after his breakthrough. Then, once Wang Wei felt that his spirit was at peace and without worry, he finally left for the heavenly abode world. Chapter 385. Where are they and what are they doing? Part 1. A young man dressed in tight-fitting black martial clothes with boots walked in the direction of manner. He had a scar over his right eye, which further elevated his handsome face. Deep in his eyes was a coldness or calmness to death. It was as if he had seen enough of it to become used to it, to become numb. The pace at which the young man walked was quite fast and he soon reached his destination. He ignored all the countless beautiful maids that would make any men jealous. He did not care that they were waiting for his arrival as he rushed to his cultivation room. He took out a book with the title, Primal Chaos Body Art, and a smile finally appeared on the young man's cold face. After so many years, I was finally able to gather enough slaughter point to exchange for this pinnacle body refining method before it was completely removed from the list. 
This technique is an emperor scripture on par with the ancient desolate body refining scripture. That way, I can finally make up the gap in fleshly body with Wang Wei. Thinking of that person's name, a fierce light flashed across Lin Fan's eyes, he still remembered his last humiliating defeat where not only did he lose, but his Chua's Chi was taken away. DTN, Wang Wei, you guys wait for my return, muttered Lin Fan as he began to read this scripture. This was a technique created by a great emperor who had the absolute chaos physique, so this technique was perfectly suited for him. Although anyone can cultivate it, people with the number one physique have an advantage as this technique requires chaos aura to cultivate. A long and arduous process is required to create chaos aura, however, people with the absolute chaos physique can just create it inside their bodies. According to the description of the creator, at the highest level, the primal chaos art, will allow the user to cultivate a body as powerful if not more than ancient gods which are essentially the names of primordial gods in other world communities. After a breath review of the scripture, Lin Fan sighed as it is stated that anything related to chaos can help speed up the process of cultivating this technique. He could not help wonder if he still had the chaos chi in his possession, how fast he could cultivate this technique. However, Lin Fan did not dwell too much on it as he had an alternative method. He could activate his inner talent, chaos demon god body. In that state, the speed at which he can create chaos aura will drastically increase thus allowing him to rapidly cultivate this technique and create a powerful fleshly body for himself. Additionally, he still had another opportunity. In the slaughter trial, there have been five strings of chaos chi in the exchange list. Three of them have already been taken away with two strings remaining. As long as he acquired enough slaughter point, he can exchange for one. It would be better if he could get both of them, however, Lin Fan knew that this was not feasible with the rate that he can gather points unless he scheme against the person who gets the final string. That would require strength, muttered Lin Fan. He waved his hand and a list appeared in front of him. He scrolled down to see his name. Lin Fan, Absolute Chaos Physique, Myriad Emperor World, ranked 132. It is very difficult to reach the top 100. However, once I finish refining my fleshly body to a certain level, it should not be a problem. However, to reach the top of the list, I still need further preparations. After making a plan, Lin Fan entered a cultivation state to comprehend his new technique. Myriad Emperor World, Eastern Continent, Wild Orange Domain, the Loose Cultivator Alliance Headquarters. Huang Yuan sat cross-legged with a black book floating in front of him. Black smoke came from the book and entered his body. Once he was done, he opened his eyes and profound darkness could be seen emanating from there. Finally done recasting my foundation. As he checked inside his body, Huang Yuan nodded in satisfaction. Previously, he only had a supreme foundation, meaning he cultivated to the 1th1 layer of the blood qi realm. His divine seed did not fully develop, his divine alatar had many cracks, and he only had 350 veins engraved on it. However, now, he had close to a perfect Tao foundation. 12 TL layer blood chi, fully developed divine C, divine altar with no cracks, only a slight scar, and 365 veins. Previously, Huang Yuan was satisfied with his foundation as it allowed him to slowly climb back from the lower realm. However, when he came to this world, he understood that this was not enough to compete with these heaven chosens. So, he used the innate weapons the life and death book that he acquired to recast his foundation. That way, he can now finally compete with the heaven chosens of this world. Looking at the book in front of him, a look of hatred flashed across his eyes thinking about how he suffered after receiving this book, how he was betrayed. Huang Yuan has always been a lucky person. And the greatest fortunate encounter was when he discovered a secret realm with this book inside. And in that secret realm, he received another encounter that was as great as this book. He found a small bath full of karmic washing water. For a supreme realm true monarchs like himself, this was truly a heaven-sent opportunity. After seeing the bath, Huang Yuan knew that he was a man of great destiny. In one of his previous fortunate encounters, he once acquired the coordinate of the myriad emperor world. And now, he could use this bath to wash away his karma from the last generation and have the right to participate in this generation's heaven will battle. So, he did not hesitate to bath in the karmic washing water before taking away the book. Once that was done, Huang Yuan took his wife on a void boat and headed for the myriad emperor world. However, once they were closed, he felt something was wrong, and he was right. 
his wife betrayed him and gathered many true monarchs from his world by telling them that he had a way to expand their lifespans. Huang Yuan knew that she planned was to kill him then take the book away as she was the only one who knew of its existence. Then, she would enter the myriad emperor world, use the book as a basis to rise and one day prove the Tao. In that battle, Huang Yuan was besieged by countless old monsters who were desperate to extend their lives. Although he killed hundreds of them, even more of them came after him as they were all desperate. In the end, his body was destroyed and his primordial spirit was severely injured. Luckily, he used the life and death book on the last occasion to run away with his primordial spirit and reach the myriad emperor world. You wait for me, Fan Qianhen. I will deal with you and all nine generations of your fan clan, muttered Huang Yuan. He then returned to his cultivation. The previous scripture he created to enter the supreme realm was not enough for him to compete for the heaven chosens of this world, he needed a better one, even a better Tao. Luckily, as an innate weapon, the book of life and death contained innate life and death laws that are way easier to comprehend. As long as he used it properly, his path to supreme will be smoother. Previously, Huang Yuan was in a hurry to return to his peak but he now knew that there was no need to rush things. On the myriad emperor world's moon, there is the entrance to a world that is not inferior to any great thousand world. In that world, there were countless continents separated by water. The spiritual qi in that world is on par with the central continent solely based on the concentration. Oddly though, the majority of the spiritual energy is concentrated in one place, in one city. In each continent, more than 95% of the spiritual energy is concentrated in one city at the center of the continent. This city is where the main branch of the ancient clans lived. Fire Continent, Phoenix City. Huo Feng Wang was cultivating in a secret room. Behind her was a vision of a phoenix soaring the nine heavens with myriad races bowing to it. However, with the passage of time, an illusory dragon was slowly forming. The phoenix noticed the presence of this new individual. Then, it began to use some small part of its power to help the dragon grow and develop properly. The phoenix knew that the arrival of the dragon was of great benefit to it, so it did not mind helping it. Chapter 386. Where are they and what are they doing? Part 2. Eastern Azure Dragon Continent, Yin Moon Palace. Su Ya whose hair was now white and black was in a deep cultivation state as she closed her eyes. She constructed a deep and elaborate illusion. She separated the illusion into two layers. In one of them was a version of her with cultivation while the other layer was immortal. However, in both layers, the two versions of Suya will undergo catastrophe after catastrophe, and their only purpose is to survive. She created elaborate ways for her two selves to die over and over. And every time they found a way to survive the current catastrophe, another one would appear and the process would repeat itself. During her cultivation, the death in the illusion resulted in her actual death in real life. However, the heavenly Tao protection would activate itself and brought her back to life and in perfect shape. This was the way that Su Ya was created to cultivate one of the six desires, the desire to survive. After an unknown amount of time, she opened her eyes and exhaled deeply. Her eyes flashed with brilliance as she seemed to have gained greatly in her retreat. Come in. A few seconds later, a beautiful maid walked into the room and bowed to Su Ya. Did you get what I asked for? Yes, young lady, replied the maid as she handed her a book to her. Su Ya took the book and frowned after seeing the title, Bloodline Curse. A while ago, she felt that an important fortunate encounter awaited her. However, she was in the middle of something and could not go, so she sent the elders of the Yin Moon Palace to fetch it for her. However, based on the title, it did not seem as important as her intuition told her. She opened the book and read through it quickly. How vicious, commented Su Ya once she was done. Nevertheless, she was slightly disappointed as this spell was too circumstantial in terms of use or application. However, it did offer her some new insight into using despair as an emotion, so this was a silver lining. Where is Jian Wushuang? asked Su Ya after putting the book away. The last we saw him was a few days ago in the south area after he had a sword fight with a sword cultivator of the last generation. When you discover his location, tell me, young lady, are you going to fight with him again? Su Ya nodded her head before beginning a conversation with the maid regarding all the information she has gathered about the location and doings of the other heaven chosens. In the southern area of the eastern continent, inside a cave dugout on a snowy mountain, Jian Wushuang had his eyes closed. 
a terrifying sword intent emanating from his body, but it was not affecting the cave because of how well controlled it was. He was reviewing all the battles he had over the years, thus tempering his sword realm. He then used all his accumulation to create a new sword technique, the infinite sword slash. An attack that could grow without limit after an unknown amount of time, the sword was created and Jian Wushuang felt a sublimation, it was if he had crossed some kind of threshold. He opened his eyes and waved his hand. A sword chi was in his hand and a smile appeared on Jian Wushuang's eyes. Although he did not succeed in creating an attack that could grow without limit, this new infinite sword chi also had a growable characteristic. Whether it was in battle or just with time, it will slowly grow on its own. And by the time of the heaven will battle, Jian Wushuang could not fathom how powerful it will be then. A confident smile appeared on his face. What he did not realize was that the moment he created that sword chi, weird fluctuation came from this body and blended with heaven and earth. That fluctuation did not affect the world not alert anyone as only two people noticed it. A few domains away, a young Taoist priest dressed in blue robes with a yin-yang symbol on it was walking. With each step, he traveled thousands of miles away. Suddenly, the young Taoist stopped and looked in the direction of the south. His eyes turned blue and red as the yin-yang symbol flashed inside to replace his pupils. This change in heaven and earth, another outlaw was born. Who could it be? muttered the young Taoist who was Feng Hang, or Shi Fuyu turning into Feng Hang. His eyes seemed to evolve the truth of the world as he found the answer to his question. Jian Wushuang. Then he shook his head while muttering. At least he's not a supreme outlaw and has a chance at passing and living. Feng Hang was wondering what was wrong with this generation. Outlaws are very rare individuals, and yet, in this generation along, there are three of two. Well, four if you count that anomaly DTN. However, he did not care about these things now as he had to focus on his own thing. After cultivating the absolute beginning Tao art, he had already completed the basis for his Tao Buddhism path. As long as he becomes a great emperor, he can trace the beginning of Buddhism that was cut off and slightly modified what happened and ensure that his Tao Buddhism was not affected, thus allowing him to spread it to the world. Although Feng Hang would like to completely remove that magic, he knew that it might not be possible even if he became an eternal emperor so he was satisfied with his current plan. However, there are a few more things needed for his plan to work. He needed a treasure to condense the luck of Tao Buddhism and bind it with the luck of Taoism. That way, they will be one. As long as one prospers, the other will also. As long as one declined, the other will as well. Feng Hang was searching all over the world to find such a unique treasure needed for his task, and he did not know whether he would succeed but, he would not give up so easily when he was so close to achieving his mission. Central Continent, Great Wu Dynasty. Sun Zhaolong was wearing a black dragon robe while sitting on a throne. The majesty of a ruler emanated from his body as he looked at his subordinate who was lowering his head and not dare look at him. Did you find it? Your Highness, please forgive my incompetence the northern continent is vast and it will take some time. What about the talisman that I gave you? It only showed vague responses continue searching. Use as many resources as needed but be discreet, said Sun Zhaolong as he dismissed the latter. He did not blame him for his failure as he knew that it was not an easy task. Sun Zhaolong knew the current situation he was in. The human destiny sword has too much significance for the cultivators of the myriad emperor world and will not be allowed to be in anyone's hands. Especially in this generation where an eternal emperor might appear, the importance of the sword is too important. The only reason that the sword is still in his hand is because of a temporary compromise by the emperor lineages. Let the younger generation decide the fate of the sword. In other words, the final winner of this generation's heaven will will be the final owner of this sword. Knowing this, Sun Zhaolong has to prepare beforehand. Endless Void Wu Hong sat cross-legged in her void boat heading somewhere. She was heading to a place called the Extremity Sea, which was located at the end of the world. Most cultivators know that the endless void is infinite, and to some extent, that is true. However, that rule only applied to the weak. As long as someone is powerful enough, they can reach the end of the endless void. Suddenly, she opened her eyes and looked in a direction. Has Wang Wei's tribulation begun? After acquiring Dao monarch Qian Wu's inheritance, she wanted to return to the myriad emperor world. However, she suddenly had a whim and wanted to check the extremity sea. 
As powerful as she was, she knew that something or someone had used the power of cause and effect to guide her there, and one of the reasons for that was they did not want her to intervene in Wang Wei's tribulations. Even knowing this, she still took the bait. The path of cultivation was not an easy one. As cultivation is a process of defying the heavens, cultivators usually have to undergo many tribulations in their lives. And so far, Wang Wei's path has been too smooth, and was about to suffer his first real tribulation. And Wu Hong will not intervene as this was something that every cultivator had to do. During her emperor path, her entire life was full of tribulations and this is the reason she became so powerful. And if Wang Wei were to fail, all she had to do is ensure that a part of his soul entered reincarnation and start all over again. Wu Hong stood up from the ground as she had arrived at her destination. As she looked at Extremity C in front of her, a deep frown appeared. The entire place was now covered in a silver-gray fog. From her memories, this should not be the case. Although she expected major changes to this timeline, she did not think it would be this great. As she looked at the fog, she frowned for two reasons. One, she could not find the origin or any information whatsoever from this fog. Not only from her memories but with her power, she could not find anything. The other odd thing was that the fog seemed very familiar to her. It gave her a very intimate feeling. Chapter 387. Primordial Spirit Realm I After using the transmission teleportation in the sect, Wang Wei found himself teleported to a small city built on a floating asteroid. Not far from his eyesight was a beautiful crystal wall floating in the void. He met his grandfather who was stationed in this city and learned that everything has been readied for him in the heavenly abode world. So, after having a brief chat with everyone, he passed through the crystal wall. As soon as he entered, the first thing Wang Wei felt was how fragile this world was. If he did not have great control of his fleshly body, the slightest overexertion of strength would probably break this world. Feeling that everything could be easily destroyed was a very uncomfortable feeling but he got used to it. Then, he finally felt something else. Wang Wei felt that heaven and earth were celebrating his arrival as if he was the most favored son of the world finally returning home. Purple auspicious clouds suddenly appeared in the sky before spreading to all the 36 realms, showing his nobility and prestige. It seems that these guys did a good job, muttered Wang Wei with a smile as he guessed the reason for such a grand welcome. As the soul god of this world who controlled all the incense, he has a special status in this world. As he closed his eyes, Wang Wei could feel a golden energy gathering around, the quantity of this energy was simply too vast. Is this incense? muttered Wang Wei with interest, but he did not immediately absorb it or test it out. Not long after his arrival, Li Jun and the others arrived. From a distance, he could see that all three of them had already entered the yin soul phase of the primordial spirit realm, and he nodded in satisfaction. After the four met, Wang Wei began to talk to them about his experience and their experience. It was then that he knew that since the last time his projection appeared, more than 380 years had passed in this world while only more than 220 years had passed in the myriad emperor world. So, the flow of time between these two worlds was almost a 1 to 2 ratio. Following this, Li Jun showed all the things he did in this world. There were temples with his status everywhere in all the 36 realms. Both humans and gods only believed in Wang Wei as the one and only almighty god of fate, death, and destiny. Many of the heavenly abodes of the gods of the previous era were full of mortals that believed only in him. The population of the entire world was increased by more than a hundredfold since the group took over the world. In close to 400 years, there have been so many generations of mortals, and all of them believed in Wang Wei. And even after their death, their souls will enter a heavenly abode that was created specifically in Wang Wei's name so that these people can continue to provide him with incense. Even the animals in this world as long as they gain sentience can become followers of the fate god and provide incense. You guys did an even better job than I could have done, said Wang Wei with a smile on his face. Then, in the next few days, he visited all the realms while manifesting in front of mortals to show his arrival in this world. This act brought a fever to his followers thus increasing their faith in him, even creating a few more fanatic believers. Then, Wang Wei began to prepare for his breakthrough. First, he tested the incense refining pill that Yan Liling created for him. According to his calculation, a hundred of these pills is enough to increase the probability of successfully entering the next realm by 
Currently, the Origin Pill Flame scripture only gave him a 50% chance, now, with this additionally 10%, he had a 60% chance of succeeding. Compared with the hopeless situation before, this was a very high number. But Wang Wei was not satisfied yet. So, Wang Wei began to review the memories of the destiny goddess. Through it, he wanted to use probability manipulation divine ability to increase his success rate. After finding this technique, Edward was a little disappointed as it required the help of Heavenly Tao to cast and required a lot of lifespans as a price. So, although he could use it in this world, it might not be possible elsewhere at least for now. Nevertheless, with it, he increased the chances of success by another 10%. He had to sigh at his soul. Even by modifying the world to a future that is more beneficial to his breakthrough only increased the chances of his success by one-tenth. After shaking his head, he continued his preparation. He still had one way to make up the gap. During his time as Lu Cheng, he studied the latter's innate talent extendedly. His only purpose was to create a technique with similar power. Now, he began to create that technique. Twenty years later, Wang Wei opened his eyes, wisdom flashed across it. Is this one of the powers of incense? By absorbing it, he discovered that his comprehension was drastically elevated. The effect was even better than enlightenment tea or most resources that can help with comprehension. He finally understood why the Buddhist monks in that era were so fascinated by incense. He then looked at the book in his hand that he wrote. Force Controlling Skill this could be considered a secret technique that focused on precision and control of forces, powers, laws, etc. with perfect control, a person can bring out more power using less. For example, if one had the same punching strength of a 1000 jinn and this was the maximum force that their body could use, most people could not bring the full power of the body and probably could only punch out 800 jinn of force. However, this skill allowed them to bring the full potential out of their bodies and more, so, with it, not only could they punch out 1,000 jinns, if cultivated to a high level enough, they could use 1,500 or 2,000 jinn of force. And this skill did not only apply to force but to things like flame control, herbs mixing, runes engraving, law controlling, spiritual power control, origin essence control, and more. Based on the preliminary design of this technique, it is divided into five levels, full control, master control, grandmaster control, pinnacle control, and heavenly Tao control. The first level taught people controlled skills so that they can use all the potential in their bodies or abilities. Using the previous example, the person whose body has a thousand jinn of force will be taught how to use the entire one thousand jinn. When it came to alchemy, they can use this level to be able to refine ordinary pills. Whether it comes to flame control, mixing herbs, or rune engraving, they will always be able to refine an average quality pill with this level. The master level taught how to go beyond the limit of one's potential or ability. A person with only a 1000 jinn of force can exert more force than that, and the deeper you comprehend in this level, the more force his body could exert. Of course, the body also has a limit that skills cannot make up for. Once past that limit, if you exert more force, a person's body will just explode. In the grandmaster control level, this technique changed as it was no longer a skill but an instinct, a passive ability. At this stage, a person no longer has to actively use the technique to use exert more jinn force but can do it on extinct. The pinnacle control is the limit that all life forms can reach. According to Wang Wei's prediction, this level should be the limit of control or precision of forces. As for the heavenly Tao level, this is a baseless theory that Wang Wei has invented. The idea behind this is heavenly Tao is born or created to control all the laws of a world. As such, they have an innate or natural talent that no other life form can reach. After all, no matter the cultivation system or the race, all their method of controlling the law comes from studying heaven and earth and learning from it. Because everything came from heaven and earth, they cannot surpass it. Wang Wei's theory is that although individuals can surpass heaven and earth in terms of pure strength and power, it is very difficult for them to surpass it in terms of control. Heavenly Tao has an innate advantage over everyone because it was born for the sole purpose of controlling the law. However, by studying it, Wang Wei theorized that he should be able to create that level in his technique. And this was not the end. Wang Wei theorized that there might be a higher level than Heavenly Tao but he did not know much about it although he had some guesses. Once this technique was created, he began to cultivate it to increase his odds of a breakthrough. Chapter 388 
Primordial Spirit Realm 2 based on his current skill, Wang Wei discovered that he only reached the master control in this skill. Nevertheless, he was still satisfied. After a check, he realized that at this level, he could control every muscle, bone, organ, and blood inside his body to exert the power of his fleshly body. According to his estimation, the Grandmaster level will allow him to use every cell in his body to exert force, and the Pinnacle level will allow him to use every atom and subatomic particle in his body to exert force. As for the Heavenly Tao, he did not know. Maybe he will step into the Quantum Realm by then, or maybe there is another change at that level. Despite reaching the Master level when it came to using physical force, he was still in the full control level when it came to controlling his soul. It was then that he realized that he was not using his soul to its full potential. So, once he was done, Wang Wei felt some sort of liberation, as if he was complete. He knew that with this level of control, his chances of refining his primordial spirit had increased by 20%, making his total chance of success 90%. Next, Wang Wei began his breakthrough. He first notified Li Jun and the others, who then organized a massive prayer session for him. All the mortals and gods of this world began to kneel at the churches and prayed to Wang Wei's status. An immense amount of incense in the shape of golden light flew from these people's bodies and entered the status, then the incense is sent to Wang Wei through them. Over the years, Li Jun's group have done many studies and experiment to better understand the power of incense. Then, they gave Wang Wei the result of their research. According to their findings, when people pray or worship a god, a small part of their spiritual energy that is mixed with their emotion is removed from their bodies, then such spiritual power is further mixed with spiritual energy and turned into incense. The more intense the emotion, the more spiritual power is removed, the more intense the incense. Furthermore, the removal of this small amount of spiritual power is not harmful to the body. The essence of all mortals slowly leaked out of their bodies, and this essence includes blood energy and spiritual energy. The leaking of blood energy lead to the deterioration of their bodies, while spiritual energy led to the deterioration of their souls. So, when the mortals pray, the leaked spiritual power from their bodies is used to create incense. Another advantage from when they pray is that is they can briefly come into contact with spiritual chi. Said chi will nourish their bodies thus strengthen their blood chi, which will in turn slightly strengthen their spiritual energy. This cycle allowed most God believers to live until the end of their natural mortal lives without being drained of their spiritual energies. In his breakthrough, Wang Wei first turned his chaos flame into the origin pill flame and began to treat his soul as a pill to refine. He could instantly feel like it was working better than the good fortunate flame. Immediately, Wang Wei controlled the good fortune flame to further power up the origin pill flame, which instantly accelerated the rate at which his paragon soul was refined. But it was still not nearly enough. At this rate, it would probably take him a few million years before this thing was finally melted. So, he swallowed the incense refining pills that Yan Liling gave to him. The moment that the power in that pill reached his soul, he could feel a slight change. It became more malleable thus further decreasing the difficulty. Wang Wei's eyes lit up as he knew that he found the right direction. He immediately began to control the vast incense coming from all over the world. According to his previous research, Buddhist monks in the old era used a method to turn incensed into something called, sentient being flame. Wang Wei does not have the method of this flame, however, he created his own version of it. Based on the knowledge on turning emotions into flames he blackmailed from Su Ya, adding on the book about sin flames he received from Wu Hong, plus his understanding of the flame, emperor used of chaos flame, he created his version of the sentient being flame. Essentially, he burned off all the emotions in the incense leaving only the pure spiritual power to absorb by him. A golden flame appeared in his sea of consciousness. This flame was the manifestation of the purest spiritual power. Furthermore, more incense was constantly added to it, then have the emotions removed from them and increase the power of the flame. Immediately, Wang Wei fused the golden flame with his origin pill flame to serve as an energy source. Then, the origin pill flame looked as if gasoline was added to it to intensify the heat. The process of refining the paragon quality soul drastically increased. So, with renewed vigor, Wang Wei took this opportunity to completely melt his soul. He did not know how long it took but he finally succeeded. Using an entire world as an energy source, he finally melted his soul. 
Although the process was truly terrible, he had a high enough pain threshold to ignore it. Plus, his pain innate talent was further developed in the process. Nevertheless, this was only the first step in the breakthrough. Normally, after this process, cultivators would gather the power of good fortune in their flame to shape their soul into a human form that resembled them. They will gather all their memories, emotions, ideas, philosophies, and spirit and combines them with the soul and the power of good fortune to sublimate it into something new, something better, the primordial spirit. And this is not a simple process especially when it comes to emotion. A cultivator has to be very in touch with their emotions, completely analyzed and understand them for the process to be successful. And this requires a very bright and pure spirit which was tempered in the divine body realm. Plus, there are other ways to finish this process. Taoist cultivators detached themselves from their emotions. They recognized them, distinguished their purposes but still looked at them from a calm, indifferent, and logical point of view. Their purpose is to reach a state of mind that is unaffected by worldly desires while not removing these desires. This state of mind is perfectly suited for understanding the laws of heaven and earth. Because of this difference, they have their own way of entering the primordial spirit realm. Then there are the devil cultivators. Because their soul is plagued by sins and negative karma, their main emotions are usually violent ones like killing and destruction. In the process of forging their primordial spirit, it is very difficult for them to control their emotions which often lead to their failures. So, their answer to this problem is to abandon a lot of their emotions turning them into ruthless beings that have no remorse for their actions. After Wang Wei finally melted his soul, he did not immediately begin the process of instilling his emotions and so on. He never wanted an ordinary primordial spirit. Instead, he used a secret technique he created to divide his soul into small interconnected particles, or spirit particles. This process required a great deal of control, luckily, he was now quite proficient in this area. Once that was done, Wang Wei began to visualize the cells in his body. The grandmaster level in the force controlling skill taught him how to control his cell. Although he has not reached this level, he can still visualize his cells. Next, Wang Wei began to fuse his spirit particles with his cells. This idea came to him after reading the cultivation system of the ancient clans. Because that system focused more on developing the fleshly body, it does not have a primordial spirit but something that has the same effect called true spirit. The true spirit is also a sublimation of the soul, however, it is not housed in the sea of consciousness but fused with the fleshly body. Wang Wei wanted a soul that has both the effect of a primordial spirit and the true spirit. This process was harder than Wang Wei anticipated. If it was not the constant incense to nourish his mind and elevated his comprehension and control, he did not know how long it would take, or whether he would succeed. Once the process was done, Wang Wei had 1.269 trillion spirit particles fused with a cell inside his body. Then, he began to instill his emotions, ideas, goals, and philosophies into the particles. Using them, he began to assemble the particles together to form his primordial spirit. And he did not just create one that looked like a human as everybody was supposed to. He built his base completely on his body. From cells to tissues, to organs, to organ systems. He replicated his entire body to form his primordial spirit. Once that was done, the fusion of his primordial spirit and his body was completed. Then, something he did not expect occurred. All the materials that he absorbed when cultivating the ancient desolate body scripture exuded Tao rhymes that began to nourish Wang Wei's primordial spirit. The innate qi contained in his body did wonder to his primordial spirit, making it stronger, more malleable, more durable, and may even have some other benefits that he has to discover himself. He was especially satisfied with the defense granted to him by this baptism. He probably no longer needed a soul-protecting artifact, although he will still use one. After all, it is better to be safe than sorry. Once the baptism was finished, Wang Wei immediately knew the benefit of this. The advantage of his true primordial spirit, as he called it, is that as long as one of the spirit particles is intact, he can revive himself with the right amount of resources. Or if it is destroyed, as long as his body is intact, since they are connected, he can recreate his primordial spirit. In order words, to kill Wang Wei, you have to destroy instantly destroy his fleshly body and primordial spirit. For as long as part remained, with enough resources, he can be brought back to life. And when he entered the drop blood rebirth realm after finishing tempering his blood, 
he will become even more difficult to kill. However, there is still a problem. Once his body is completely destroyed beyond repair and has to regrow one, all his accomplishments in body refining will be gone. Now, he does not have to face this issue. Since his true primordial spirit has been baptized by the materials that forged his body, once his fleshly body is regrown from his soul, it would instantly reach its peak before destruction. Of course, as a result, the resources required to revive him become even more precious. Luckily, he is considered a second-generation rich young master. As he looked at his new primordial spirit, Wang Wei nodded in satisfaction. However, the process was not finished. The final step is to fuse the power of heaven and earth learned in the heaven stage of the divine body realm to the primordial spirit. Since the power of heaven and earth is a precursor to the power of law, this process is needed to use the primordial spirit to understand the law in the future. His power of heaven and earth granted him a 270-fold increase, so fusing it with his primordial spirit was quite rewarding. Once he was done, Wang Wei felt the world become brighter, clearer. He could now see things that he never could before. Is this the primordial spirit realm? He muttered with a smile. Chapter 389 Who are you? Wang Wei felt the strength flowing through his veins and a confident smile appeared on his face. Now that he had succeeded in entering the primordial spirit realm and created a unique one at that, his strength had drastically increased. And with this strength, Wang Wei no longer had any worry regarding DTN. So what if he was an old monster that once lived in the Emperor beginning era? This is a new time, a new era. Being old only meant that he had more experience than him not necessarily that he was stronger. After coming to this conclusion, Wang Wei smiled as he exited his seclusion. He immediately organized a banquet for Li Jun and the others. Even more, he called for the entire world to celebrate his new increase in power. So, a new festival of the Fate God was created on that day, the Might Festival which celebrated his unparalleled and unmatched strength. After the banquet, Li Jun was walking towards his quarters with a frown on his face. Is something wrong? asked Yan Liling. I feel like something is wrong about Big Brother, his whole demeanor seems off than usual. Indeed he was a little off, however, it is understandable he was under a lot of pressure because of the previous failure of breakthrough, but now that he succeeded, it is normal for him to relax a little. Maybe. The next day after waking up, Wang Wei decided to travel throughout all the 36 realms and truly enjoy all the wonders of this world. Previously, his head was too occupied with his breakthrough. So, he did so. Everywhere he went, he would see peaceful towns, cities, and kingdoms made of his believers. Because all the people were of the same religion, they rarely had conflicts with one another. And even if they did, the church will intervene before things escalated to violence. During his voyage, everywhere he went, when he appeared, all mortals would recognize his face and immediately bow to him while praising his name constantly. At first, he was not used to it, but by the second time, he enjoyed it tremendously. Watching so many people kneel at his feet, he felt great joy when he saw their faces happy just to be in his presence. The power that came with the fact that he had complete control over the life of these mortals, and they would be powerless to stop him if he decided to massacre all of them. With this knowledge, he became more extravagant in his voyage. Everywhere he went, he traveled in a flying golden carriage that showed his identity. He bathed in the glory of being a god. In one of his visits to the main temple in the illusion realm, Wang Wei was received by a beautiful woman. In terms of beauty alone, she was on par with Shi Shi if not even more beautiful. Unlike the latter who embodies perfection in every conceivable way, this woman was the embodiment of gentle and pureness. Dressed in a white robe, this woman seemed like a goddess that was accidentally left in the mortal realm. What was even more fascinating about her was the fact that she was only immortal, yet she was so beautiful beyond mere words could describe. After asking Li Jun who was grumpy throughout the entire tour, he knew that she was the saintess of this temple. As Li Jun looked at the department Wang Wei, his frown deepened, he knew that something was terribly wrong. That night, he was unable to sleep as he felt something was going to happen. Unable to control this feeling, he secretly left his quarters to check things out. When passing by the saintess room, he saw the light was still on. Li Jun knew that the rules to become a saintess of the church were very strict, and by this hour, she should be asleep. He sneaked into the room and he was shocked by what he saw. The saintess was crying as she slowly put her sleeping robe on. 
Blood could be seen on the sheet she was laying on. She tried to get up but her legs who had a few bruises trembled and she did not succeed. After a few tries, she managed to barely get up and change the sheet on the bed, turn off the light and get inside the bed. During the entire process, her low crying never stopped, nor did her tears. Lee Jun's face became ugly as he rushed towards Wang Wei's resting place. He barged in before screaming, Why? Why did you do this? Luckily, he was still conscious enough to erect a soundproofing barrier with his origin essence. Otherwise, the entire church would have been alarmed by his voice. I do not know what you're talking about. Now that you've done it you refuse to acknowledge it. I never knew that you were a coward. Wang Wei who was reading a book nonchalantly finally raised his head and looked at him with cold and indifferent eyes. So, what if I did? As a saintess, she is a servant to her god. It is her honor to offer her body to me. Veins started popping in Li Jun's head as he clenches his fist. The space around his hand twisted slightly before returning to normal. What about Wu Hong? He asked. What about all the things you said about having only one partner that would support each other till the end of the Tao and beyond? Were those all empty words? This has nothing to do with anything. It was purely physical, replied Wang Wei indifferently. Nonsense. As a cultivator, you should understand the consequences of breaking your own beliefs and how it will affect you. I did not break anything. I'm perfectly fine. Li Jun looked at him for a moment before taking a deep breath to calm down. Fine. I won't talk to you about the ethical dilemma of your actions. But what about Wu Hong? Don't you feel bad about betraying her? How do you think she will react once she finds out? As soon as he said these words, Li Jun felt a flash across his eyes before feeling a terrifying hand holding him by the throat, squeezing and suppressing his strength. He looked down to see his big brother's eyes that were full of killing intent. Li Jun did not see any struggle or hesitation in these eyes. Only the two of us know about what happened tonight, said Wang Wei coldly, and it better stays that way for your sake. After saying that, he threw Li Jun out of the room and waved his hand. A wing appeared to close the door and get back to his reading. Meanwhile, Li Jun landed outside with his breath slightly elevated. Something has definitely gone wrong, he muttered. His personality change was too sudden and does not make sense. Is that the sequela of incense? However, why did nothing happen to me and the others after our breakthrough? After that night's event, Li Jun did not tell anyone what occurred even to his wife, Liling. He decided to observe for a while. And as he expected things, got worse with each passing day. Whenever Wang Wei went, he would do the same to any saintess he saw in the temples. And when there were none, he would target the beautiful woman amongst his normal followers. What's worse was that he would kill these women's spouses if they had any after he was done with them, saying that no mortal should touch his woman. Knowing that the situation was rapidly deteriorating, Li Jun wanted to notify the sect but still did not do so as he wanted to talk his friend out of this predicament, he wanted to reach him and talk some sense into him. Unfortunately, his words were proven to be useless. Then, something happened that made Li Jun lose hope. After checking in one of the women, trying to give her some remuneration and appease her, he only found her body lying on the floor, blood splurging from her throat and a dagger in her left hand. He knew that Wang Wei had to be stopped. He rushed to confront him again, this time, wearing armor and a spear in his hand. I do not know what's wrong with you, but you have to be stopped, said Li Jun. Then, a river of blood appeared behind him as a flash of determination could be seen in his eyes. Wang Wei looked at him coldly and said, It seems me calling you brother all these years has gotten into your head. It's about time I put in your place and remind you that you're nothing but my servant. He clenched his fist and punched out, desolate fist. With this one punch, the vitality of the entire Sin realm was instantly destroyed, killing all living things inside whether mortals, gods, or animals. The heavenly abodes in the sky were instantly annihilated. In the empty vacuum of space, only five people were still alive, with only four of them intact. It was Wang Wei and the remaining four people. He looked at the tattered Li Jun in front of him, whose body was almost annihilated and he clenched his fist, ready to punch once more. Yan Liling rushed in front of him and kowtowed, Sacred son, for the sake of all we have done for you, please spare him. Meanwhile, Tai Gang and Wang Ju had a look of fear on their faces. With a cold look on his eyes, Wang Wei looked at Yan Liling and the dying Li Jun with indifferent eyes. 
This is a warning to all of you. Do not forget who the real master is. Leave this world and tell the sect that this place is a benefit to my cultivation in the primordial spirit realm. I will leave after I comprehend the law. After saying that, he broke the space to teleport to another realm. He was still on his tour in the 36 realms, well, now 35. Without anyone on his back always watching him and questioning his decision, Wang Wei finally let loose. He received the worship of mortals, killed whomever he felt was unpleasant, host countless parties, and took whichever woman he desired. This was real life. All those years he was so focused on cultivating and one day becoming a great emperor that he did not really enjoy himself. As the young master of the most powerful sect in the world, this is the life that he should have lived. With his strength, it was only a matter of time for him to become a great emperor. By then, he will truly be free and do whatever he pleased. One day, Wang Wei stood on top of a mountain, feeling the fresh air after a night of partying. He looked in the sky, smiled, and muttered. Is this the heart demon tribulation? Quite the interesting experience. As soon as he said these words, cracks started to appear everywhere as if the world was about to be destroyed. Then, Wang Wei opened his eyes and found that he was still inside his sea of consciousness in the shape of his primordial spirit. He looked up to see a person that looked exactly like him standing in front of him with a smile, this smile was exactly like him. Although I can already guess the answer, who are you? Asked Wang Wei. Chapter 390. Let, S. Cha. Since you already know who and what I am, why asking? Said the other Wang Wei whose only difference from the original was his red hair and eyes. As I said, I guess who you are, which implied that I'm not sure if I'm correct, replied Wang Wei. Fair enough. I'm your heart devil. That's not really an answer, is it? What exactly is a heart devil? What's with all the demands? It's not that much. After you put me through that terrible illusion, you owe me at least some explanations. The heart devil paused for a moment before saying, Fine. I'm the physical manifestation of all your emotions, thoughts, ideas, and desires. So, I know all your secrets. You can say that in this world, no one knows you better than me know all my secrets? Yes, all of them, replied the heart devil while giving him a deep look. Okay, so negative me. Why are you here? Asked Wang Wei calmly. He knew that the latter was not lying since he had read about heart devils appearing in physical form before. Although it is very rare, it does occur for some people when entering the primordial spirit realm. I'm here to have a little chat, said the devil, who manifested a table with tea and cushions to set on inside the sea of consciousness. After the two took a sip of their tea, the heart devil asked, How did you see through the illusion? When it comes to heart devil tribulation, it can come into two forms. The first one is that cultivators will hear tempting and luring voices, these voices will magnify the negative emotions inside their minds, and they have to withstand the temptation of these words to pass the tribulation. If succeeded, then their state of mind will sublimate and complete the process of entering the primordial spirit realm. If fail, they will either be driven mad by these voices until they do drastic things like killing themselves or hurting themselves. Or worse, their primordial spirit will collapse and they could either die or their breakthrough fail. Although these people can also try again if they survive the ordeal, however, after each failure, the intensity of the tribulation will at least double, thus reducing the chances that people have at entering that realm. Another form of the heart devil tribulation is the illusion world. A perfect world designed to also intensify the emotions and desires of the cultivator. Because of perfect the world seems, it became even more difficult to pass the trial. In that illusion world, cultivators have to process their emotions and desires, recognize and control them. If succeeded, they can wake up. For a person like Su Ya, this trial is as easy as breathing, however, for others, not so much. The heart devil tribulation comes from the inside, from the mind. So, it does not matter how powerful your soul is, you still cannot resist. Of course, there is another way to pass this trial. Realize that this was an illusion world and break free from it. This is what Wang Wei did. Few people used this method because of how difficult it was. This is the reason that the heart devil asked him how he saw through it. Thinking about this question, Wang Wei could not help reminisce about what just occurred. Everything was so real. Many of his emotions were amplified beyond measure and turned him into someone he could not recognize. Whether it was arrogance, lust, wrath, 
pride, or the desire for power. A slight imbalance in these emotions completely changed his personality. After this experience, Wang Wei finally understood why the seven emotions' six desires physique is rated third in the list. It was the battle with Li Jun that made me aware that I was in an illusion, replied Wang Wei. Oh? How so? You may know me very well, but this is not the same for Li Jun, plus, you underestimated his intelligence. Please elaborate. If I did something wrong, Li Jun would never confront me on it. This is one his biggest flaw. Instead, he would either try to hide it or take the blame for me to ensure my reputation. By then, I already my suspicions. But when he raised his spear at me, I knew for real that something was wrong as he would never willingly attack me. By then, I knew for a fact that something was wrong. Although I could not control myself during the confrontation, afterward, I pondered deeply about the situation and realized the problem. If I was acting out of character, Li Jun would never use brute force to stop me, not only because he was smart enough to know that his strength is not enough to do so, but because there was a better solution. Go contact my grandfather that is outside this world. Indeed, it seems that I underestimated him, said the heart devil with a smile. However, I think the greatest reason for your success has to do with the pagoda trials. That may be true, nodded Wang Wei. In the trial, he was used to being placed in illusion worlds that was perfectly crafted, and without any flaws, so, he did have the advantage. Something tells me that this is not the only reason for you to come chat with me, said Wang Wei. As you can guess, your tribulation is not yet over as you have some things to answer for, said the heart devil with a cunning smile. Answer for what? For whom? You're conscious, of course, he replied. Wang Wei squinted his eyes. In the path of cultivation, the state of the mind is very important. So, if a person has guilt, anguish, or regret in their conscious, then their path forward will be cut off. Without a pure spirit or mind, it is impossible to comprehend the laws of heaven and earth. Of course, the so-called guilt is not based on some rules established by society but set by the cultivator itself. It is based on their ideologies, mindset, intentions, and whether they continuously follow them throughout their life. Let me ask you this, do you think that the you on earth would recognize your current self? Do you think he would agree with many of your actions? As he said this, the heart devil waved his hand and many pictures suddenly appeared in front of the two. It was pictures of Wang Wei's life. It began with spirit road trial, showing all the people he killed. Look at you, a young man from the Republic who underwent nine years of compulsory education and learned the concept of right and wrong. Killing people as if they were nothing but animals, sneered the heart devil. Then, he showed an image of what happened to Han Li. For your benefit, you treated a fellow disciple of your sect like nothing but an experimental mouse, destroyed his future for your own. Wang Wei remained silent as he watched all of these, meanwhile, the heart devil continued. His words seemed to be able to echo deep into people's hearts and slowly affect them. And there is more. I know that you can find ways to justify many of your actions. However, what about this one? He showed an image of Wang Wei taking the fate lines of many people to refine his proving Dao weapon. To refine a unique weapon, you killed 13 million innocent mortals. What excuse do you have for your actions this time? And do not say that you repay these people by taking care of their families for hundreds of years. These mortal lives are full of hardship. Although your actions appeared to have given them a choice but did you really? Given their circumstances, why would they not sacrifice their lives to give their families a better tomorrow especially when the alternative is death by either starvation, natural disaster, or even at the hands of cultivators? The heart devil looked at Wang Wei, waiting for his explanation. However, the latter remained quiet. Shaking his head in disappointment, he continued. What I hate the most about you is your hypocritical nature. You often talked about the transmigrators that started to kill right and left right after arriving in another world. You labeled them psychopaths and unstable, yet you do the same thing as them. Now, do you think that slowly becoming a psychopath makes you better than those who immediately displayed their psychopathic tendencies right after transmigrating? The heart devil once again looked at Wang Wei, then sneered after seeing the latter remained quiet. And this is not even the end of the list. You committed genocides of an entire race. The devil showed what happened during the Qi Luck trial when Wang Wei ordered almost all the demon races to be executed. Then, he showed the image of Wang Wei refining Ji Song's body. What you did to him can even be called cannibalism. I truly wonder, 
Do you not feel any remorse for your actions? Wang Wei looked at the image in front of him and sighed. He then looked at the heart devil and said, I do feel remorse for a few of my actions. But you would still do the same given a choice. That's right. That's not remorse. Wang Wei took a sip of his tea, not affected by the latter's words. People are complex by nature and there are no single ways to completely describe one person. And if you add god-like powers to them like cultivators, their complexity reaches the level of an improvable mathematical formula. Since you know me so well, do you remember what my ultimate objective in cultivating is? Asked Wang Wei. To become free and unfettered. What exactly do you think that means? Asked Wang Wei. Not to be restrained by anyone, replied the devil. That's just an oversimplification. I want is the ultimate freedom of the mind and body. I want to be able to do anything I want, and nothing should be able to stop me not even my mind. What I pursue is that if one day I decided I want to be the greatest devil that ever existed, then, I will be so. I will slaughter every living being in this universe and not even bat an eye. And if afterward, I want to, I can wave my hand to return everything to the way it was as if nothing ever happened. If I do not want to, then said universe will remain destroyed. If I want to be the greatest Buddha the universe has ever seen, then I will save all living beings from their suffering, create the perfect utopia where all living beings are happy and satisfied with their lives. And afterward, if I desire to, I will revert everything back to the way it used to be. What I want is the choice, the choice to be able to do as I please without being hindered by power or strength, and morality. I want the ultimate freedom. The heart devil was silent for a moment as he realized that his tactics would not work, he was trying to place shackles of morality on a person who pursues to break off this shackle. He looked at Wang Wei, you do know that your pursuit is very dangerous and could lead to disastrous consequences, right? I'm fully aware of this. All right, you pass the tribulation, said the devil as he smiled. However, this is not the last time you will see me. He then disappeared. As for Wang Wei, he finally woke up for real this time. He immediately checked his primordial spirit inside his sea of consciousness and nodded in satisfaction. After a thorough check, he frowned a little. He discovered that of his 1.269 trillion spirit particles, a few hundred of millions of them were brightly lit while the rest seems dim. He absorbed the little amount of incense left from his breakthrough and many of the particles lit up like the others and he was instantly relieved. So, he finished absorbing the rest. Immediately, Wang Wei felt a sense of fullness and he knew that he had instantly reached the peak of the yin soul step in this realm. Next was for him to reverse yin and yang and enter the yang soul step. Finally, he checked the ability of his particle. And as he expected, they could each think independently of one another as if they were different from him. This ability greatly increase his already heaven-defying comprehension. While checking his cultivation, Wang Wei's intuition suddenly activated. His body seemed to move on instinct as he instantly appeared outside of his retreating room where Li Jun and the others were acting as his protector. Without explaining anything to them, he opened a tear in the space and sent all three of them outside of this world. All of this happened so fast that Wang Wei felt that his body was acting on its own. He then raised his head to penetrate in the distance where he saw someone floated in the air, looking at him. A great sense of danger unlike anything else he has ever felt suddenly overcame his intuition told him that he might really die on this occasion. After seeing the person who arrived, he frowned as he said, it's you. End of volume. Chapter 391, Outclassed I. Li Jun reached his hand as he flew from the space tunnel but he seemed to be catching thin air. With a confused look on his face, he found himself in the void, looking at the crystal wall in front of him. He seemed to have thought of something and rushed back inside but he was bounced back from the crystal wall, unable to enter. Suddenly, Wang Wei's grandfather, Wang Chong, appeared next to him. What happened? I don't know. Big brother suddenly sends us out and it seems that I cannot enter back. Wang Chong frowned after hearing this. He immediately contacted a few people in the primordial spirit realm and below to try to enter this world but they all failed. In the end, he decided to contact his son and ask him to take a look at Wang Wei's soul lamp to see whether he was in danger or not. Meanwhile, inside the heavenly abode world, Wang Wei looked at the young man with white hair floating in front of him straight in the eyes, he had a very serious look on his face. I did not expect that my method could not completely nullify your intuition, 
said DTN with a calm look on his face. How did you know that I was here? Asked Wang Wei as he looked at the sky. He could see that the entire world was surrounded by a powerful formation. On top of that, he could not immediately identify the formation. Do you think your little action managed to completely get rid of my sleepers? They have survived under the noses of eternal emperors, let alone you. If you say so, replied Wang Wei as he did not completely believe these words. Most likely, the opponent was trying to implant doubt in his own people. This is a basic mind tactic of every heaven chosen when confronting one another even if they have the advantage. DTN glanced at him. Then, before Wang Wei could process anything else, he heard a cracking sound. An overwhelming force hit him in the middle of his chest without having time to react. Bang! He was sent flying away. In less than a nanosecond, his body broke the sound barrier as he flew away. And this was far from the end. A moment later, his perception changed. He found that everything around him seemed to go extremely slow, his breathing, the flow of blood inside his body, his clothes fluttering, and even his thoughts. Wang Wei knew that this was the result of him flying away faster than the speed of light. He tried everything to reduce the force on him but it was useless, he was completely overwhelmed. So, after flying through more than three realms, Wang Wei finally landed in a large city in the Earth realm. Boom. A powerful shockwave came from his landing site, spreading in all directions. Then, everything in its path was instantly destroyed, houses crumbled, trees were uprooted, and all living things exploded into millions of pieces. Whether it was children, women, animals, or the elderly, all of them were instantly killed. Even the gods that were stationed in this city could not resist and were annihilated. And the shockwave did not stop after destroying that city of a few hundred million people. Not, it was spreading. Luckily, Wang Wei used his spiritual power to prevent this from happening. Meanwhile, in the middle of the crater, Wang Wei calmly looked at his two hands that looked like they were chewed by dogs. His broken bones were displayed along with torn muscles, skins, and blood. Blood was flowing from all the orifices on his face, his ribs and organs were partially destroyed by the force of that punch. If he did not instinctively cross his arm to block some of the power of that punch, the situation would have been even direr. A frown appeared on his face as he analyzed the severity of his injury, he could feel a strange yet familiar power hindering his healing ability. Knowing that situation was dangerous, he immediately activate his life and death wheel talent to increase his regenerative abilities. In a moment, he healed himself and returned to his peak shape, his limbs regrew along with his ribs and organs. Nevertheless, he was not happy. His opponent just speed blitzed him and he could not even react in time. Additionally, that punch relied solely on the power of the fleshly body, not origin technique or spells. Immediately, he focused on the spirit particles of his soul and dedicate all the hundred million of them that were lit to his reflex. As soon as he finished doing these things, he saw DTN rushing toward him with unmatched speed. Damn it! Cursed Wang Wei inside as he realized that he still was no match for his opponent in terms of speed. Although he could not now see him move, he could barely react. So, he activated his innate shield to protect him. Unfortunately, his proud shield which could probably resist the explosion of a great thousand world was as thin as paper in front of DTN. The punch easily destroyed the protective field, heading straight for his head. Nevertheless, the shield still delayed the attack by a nanosecond. Taking this time, Wang Wei immediately moved his brain along with his soul from his head inside his body. Then, his head exploded like a balloon, with blood spreading everywhere. The spot where the blood landed immediately began to grow flowers and trees because of the massive vitality contained inside. Meanwhile, DTN who was aware that his opponent was alive kicked Wang Wei's headless body, once again sending him flying away. The headless body flew in the direction of the adjacent cities. Because of Li Jun's work, the population of the entire heavenly abode world has drastically increased to the point that most areas in all realms are not occupied by large cities that can easily hold millions upon millions of people. So, when Wang Wei was sent flying in a straight line at ground level, the clash of his fleshly body with anything resulted in the other thing being destroyed. He could feel myriad people instantly exploding into blood mist after he crashed into them. Mountains, rivers, glaciers, forests, and many more were evaporated in his path. Damn it! Once again cursed Wang Wei. He was used to abusing his opponent because of his superior fleshly body, but now it was his turn. 
This fact made him seriously angry. However, in the process of growing his head back, he quickly calmed down to enter a rational and calculative state, he knew that anger was detrimental to his current situation. The current problem he was now facing was that his opponent was too fast for him to even react. Adding to that in terms of physical prowess he was outclassed, this further aggravated the situation. While Wang Wei was trying to come up with a solution to his current predicament, DTN was essentially using his body as a demolition tool. He jumped on it to destroy the ground, tossed it everywhere to destroy buildings or houses. He punched it until it looked like meat sauce, sliced it like it was a cucumber, and many more. During the entire ordeal, not a sound came out of Wang Wei's mouth, and every time he regenerated himself, his face was always calm, shining with luster, shining with the desire to survive. No despair or negative emotion could be seen. DTN frowned slightly after seeing this. I guess my plan to use physical pain, humiliation, and despair to break his mind has failed. Well, I expected this since he is a young emperor. With his Tao heart, how could his spirit be easily broken? DTN did not care whether he succeeded or not as he already expected this. Anyway, he did not suffer anything from trying, and it was quite satisfying to beat his opponent until his mother could not recognize him. Suddenly, numerous invisible to the naked eye gray strings appeared from Wang Wei's body. They attached themselves to all the cells in his body before rushing into the sky where an illusory river suddenly appeared. The river of fate, muttered DTN as he watched the river that seemed to be made of uncountable strings. So, he's using his authority as the only supreme god of this world to summon the river of fate. Without saying anything else, he rushed toward Wang Wei to attack. However, things went a little differently this time. Wang Wei did not block but moved forward to clash head on with DTN. Bang! His right arm exploded into millions of pieces, and he was sent sliding more than a hundred kilometers before managing to control himself and stopping. Interesting, thought DTN as he paused to analyze how his opponent managed to make up the gap in his reaction speed in such a short amount of time. Chapter 392 Outclassed too by looking at the strings connected to the River of Destiny, DTN could guess that he was using the power of fate to guide his reaction speed. This river contained the lives of all people that have existed since the creation of the heavenly abode world. From ancient to modern times, the number of people is simply uncalculable given how short mortals' lives are. And having these people dictate Wang Wei's reaction is like having an infinite amount of people looking out and reacting for him, thus drastically increasing his reaction time. The only limit to such power is how much his body can bear. DTN's eyes showed a slight smirk. So what if his opponent could barely react in time with his attack? This did not change the vast difference in their strength or prowess. He rushed towards his opponent and punched. The two fists clashed together, and Wang Wei felt a strange force entering his body. This was not physical force but something else. And before he could react, he found that his primordial spirit was forcibly detached from his body. Thousand of chains appeared trying to push it back inside but it was no use. Then, DTN made three more punches and one kick. The previous one had annihilated Wang Wei's right hand, but the other three destroys his remaining arm and two legs. And in that same instance, a black wheel appeared on top of his primordial spirit and began to grind it into dust. Millions of his spirit particles were instantly annihilated. Any more time, Wang Wei knew that his soul would be grounded into dust and he would be killed. So, he dispersed them into their spirit particles shape to return and regrow from the cells in his body. Meanwhile, a string appeared on Wang Wei's torso who was sent flying away. The string was attached to DTN, trying to pull something out of him. It was trying to pull his soul, lifespan, and even his past it was pulling his destiny. However, with a calm look on his face, he made his hand into a speak shape and easily cut off that string, resulting in Wang Wei throwing up a mouthful of blood because of the backlash. While mobilizing his life and death wheel talent to rapidly heal his body, numerous strings appeared behind Wang Wei forming a spider web and catching his body and preventing it from rushing from one realm to another. And in that split second after his body regenerated itself, he stood on the web made of strings, used it as a bouncing plate to launch himself forward as he turned into a gray rainbow. In front of DTN, he punched, world-breaking fist. The vibration came from his skin, muscles, bones, organs, tissues, cells, and even the hundred million spirit particles of his primordial spirit. On top of that, 
He even controlled many of the strings that made the river of fate to also vibrate, thus bringing this attack to an even higher level. This current attack is the perfect combination of Wang Wei's fleshly body and his cultivation level. He was confident that only a few quasi-emperor in the myriad emperor world could survive this attack. After he made that punch, in just an instant, five realms of the heavenly abode realm larger than any mortal universes were instantly destroyed. The vibration destroyed all matter at a quantum level. This attack did not even spare the concept that existed in these realms as they were also annihilated. Boom. The punch hit DTN's body, creating a dust cloud around him. Not even a few seconds later, a breeze passed by to remove the cloud, showing his body. He was perfectly intact, not even his clothes were scratched. His cold and indifferent eyes looked at Wang Wei calmly before raising his hand. A cloud of black smoke appeared on his hand as he punched. Immediately, a terrifying death threat overcame Wang Wei. His intuition was constantly warning that he was going to die, that no matter what he did, his only result was absolute death. For the first time in a very long time, the emotion of fear suddenly flooded his mind trying to overwhelm him. He knew that he could not survive this attack. Nevertheless, he still used his powerful will to repress his fear as he knew that this was not the time for this. He activated his Proving Dao artifact to turn into a large mirror. Then, he imbued it with the swallowing power from the gluttony swallowing scripture to absorb the power of that attack. Finally, he used a string to cut off one of his fingers, open a small hole in the space, and sent that finger to an abode in another realm. All of these actions took place in less than nanoseconds. After DTN's punch hit Wang Wei's body, a black sphere enveloped it in the mirror for a moment before disappearing. Then, his body began to rot and decay like it was dead for dozens of years. In just a few seconds, only his bones were left, and soon, they also dissipated. The same fate occurred to the mirror. It rusted before turning into millions of particles and dissipated between heaven and earth. DTN frowned after seeing this as he knew that the latter was not killed. He searched for Wang Wei's whereabouts but a strange power seemed to block his search. The heavenly Tao of this world. He understood that as the only almighty god of this world, Wang Wei had some control over heavenly Tao. However, DTN did not care as the delay was only for a few seconds. Meanwhile, in the death realm, Wang Wei's small finger suddenly appeared inside one of the heavenly abodes. The finger did not waste time as it began to absorb everything around it. The few remaining gods who were trembling because their worlds were falling apart, the believers that lived in the abode, all of them turned into a blood river that was absorbed by the finger. Their souls, lifespan, and blood energy were instantly absorbed by the finger to regrow Wang Wei's body. Previously, many of the abodes were connected together to facilitate easier management. So, in this catastrophe, all the gods and believers of the death realm were killed. And after Wang Wei regrew his body, he did not stop as he also absorbed the entire abode itself as it could be considered a small world. Over the years, although Wang Wei never used his life and death wheel innate talent because he did not have to, he still trained it. He ensured that it could absorb any kind of energy or power not just spiritual power to heal him. And today, this ability became useful. Thinking of that last attack, Wang Wei was truly scared as he really came close to dying. He has not entered that one drop blood regenerating realm, but he was very close. So, at the last minute, he thought of this plan to survive. After thinking about the previous situation, a smile appeared on his face, he was excited. His path of cultivation has been too smooth so he never faced such a powerful foe, no, such an overwhelming one. He was used to bullying his opponent. It's not like he never fought people who were more powerful than him. His father and Wu Hong often placed him in his place when he gets too arrogant. However, these people never truly try to kill him unlike now. So, this is the first real life and death battle he had ever since the Spirit Road trial. In the few seconds that Wang Wei used Heavenly Dao to buy him some time, he recovered his body and looked at DTN who suddenly appeared in front of him. I suspected it before but on the last attack, I confirmed my suspicions, said Wang Wei. You cultivated the ancient desolate body refining scripture. He could feel that DTN's fleshly body was similar to his. Additionally, he could feel the innate chi inside as well. Most likely, DTN used even more innate materials to refine his body than him. 
and based on what he knew about the latter's sleepers, it is possible to infiltrate the sect and acquire the scripture, just as he did to the origin pill Dao sect. You're correct, replied DTN. Of all the body refinement techniques that I have seen, it is quite unique because of its versatility. It's a shame that its glory is built on lies. What do you mean? The ancient desolate emperor never used this technique to fight Seven Lotus Emperor in the quasi-emperor realm. Wang Wei frowned after hearing this, he always had a feeling that there were some secrets to this scripture. After all, he is close to completely finishing cultivating it, and from what he knew, he did not feel that he would be able to fight a great emperor once he was done. So, what exactly happened? He asked. Once Wang Chong created the ancient desolate body refining Sipsher, he was lucky enough to discover the beating heart of a primordial god from the Null Era and absorbed it. Then, he challenged the Seven Lotus Emperor again, and he was still easily defeated even though the latter was nothing but a third-class Great Emperor. The gap between these two realms Quasi-Emperor and Great Emperor is simply unsurpassable. Wang Wei suddenly remembered one day when his grandfather was drunk, then sneered while saying the Quasi-Emperor realm was the biggest joke in the universe. At first, Wang Wei asked him once he was sober but he did not get an answer under the excuse that his cultivation was too weak. That was a long time ago but Wang Wei did not bring up this subject again. However, recently, after getting access to the secret archive, he slightly understood the meaning behind this. And now, DTN was also basically saying the same thing. If what you said is true, why did the Seven Lotus Emperor cut off the karma for my ancestor? And why did he lie about this? Asked Wang Wei. One of the reasons that this scripture is so famous is because of the rumors that if one cultivates to a sufficient height, a quasi-emperor will have the power of a great emperor. The Seven Lotus Emperor was not reconciled with how weak he was as an emperor, so he made a deal with Wang Chong. He would cut off his karma for him and even acknowledge the rumors of the scripture, in exchange, he wanted some of the blood from the primordial god to further his strength. As for the reason the rumors were spread, the answer is simple. At that time, the Tao opening sect was nothing but a little sect with two great emperors even if they were eternal emperors. Wang Chong wanted to use this rumor to deter future emperors, making them think that the sect had secretly cultivated many quasi-emperors with the power to fight great emperors, and this method did succeed. Wang Wei understood the plan of the ancient desolate emperor. However, he did not think that things were that simple. Most likely, this scripture might have something more to it that he does not yet know. You should have healed by now, said DTN, still with his indifferent and cold eyes. Thank you for giving me the time, replied Wang Wei as he began to transform. He was prepared to enter his most powerful state. Chapter 393 Typical protagonist the robe on Wang Wei's body disappeared replaced by only long black pants, displaying his 12-pack muscle line. Then, his skin turned copper in color while also growing claws. Bronze-colored tattoo designed appeared on his torso, four silver bones grew from his back. The white part of his eyes turned golden while the rest remained gray. Five small things floated from his right shoulder to the left one, forming an arc. They were a small flame, a ball of water, a solid rock a golden sphere, and a leaf, each representing the five elements. As soon as Wang Wei finished his transformation, a powerful and eerie aura suddenly enveloped the entire heavenly abode world. The aura was powerful, desolate, and brought fear to any lesser life forms. Creaking sounds could be heard from the entire world as the laws seemed to be rattled, showing that his mere presence was placing too much pressure on the entire world. This desolate god transformation is not really pleasant to the eyes, muttered Wang Wei as he looked at his body. This transformation was possible after he finished refining his organs, however, he never had any use for it, so he never showed it. As he clenched his hand, he could feel the tremendous increase in his strength. In this form, he can bring out the full potential of his fleshly body. According to his estimate, he could not fight his grandfather and win, or even fight ten quasi-emperor and be the winner. However, as he looked at DTN in front of him, he knew that this might not be enough. Nevertheless, he had to try. He rushed toward DTN with a speed thousands of times faster than light and punched him. And with that punch, he also used the power of heaven and earth, which gave him an additional 270-fold increase in strength. This level of power of heaven and earth far surpassed the increase in strength of most laws. As Wang Wei made that punch, he heard a screaming sound full of pain and agony but he ignored it. 
he saw DTN waving his hand to negate the power of his attack, and after that, a force even more powerful rushed towards him and blasted his upper torso. Oddly though, there was no blood or gore after his upper body was destroyed. Instead, an upper torso made of dirt was instantly made up before turning into real flesh and blood. And as soon as Wang Wei's body was reformed, his eyes turned red as a massive pillar of flame that looked like laser vision rushed towards DTN, he was using his chaos flame. Meanwhile, DTN who was very knowledgeable regarding the ancient desolate scripture knew that one of the abilities granted after cultivating the organs was mastery over the five elements, thus even allowing the body to turn into other elements to avoid physical damage. He calmly opened his mouth to spew out a blue flame, which instantly overwhelmed Wang Wei's flame and rushed to burn his entire existence. Luckily, he quickly turned himself into fire elements and avoid the attack. Damn it! Cursed Wang Wei in annoyance. He was annoyed for two reasons. One was the constant crying sound in his ear, and the other was the information he just learned in this short confrontation. 1. His enemy also has a chaos flame and has even cultivated it to an even higher level than his. Second, it was the power of heaven and earth that DTN briefly used during the confrontation. According to his calculation, that attack had at least a 900-fold of power, which was almost five times his increase. And that was only a basic estimation which is probably on the lower side. Compared to his 270-fold increase, he was truly outclassed. Immediately, Wang Wei removed the distracting thoughts or emotions from his mind as he quickly pondered. If I want to get out of this situation alive, I need to find a method to grow during combat, he thought. Right now, he could tell that DTN was essentially toying with him trying to get him to use all his power and hidden cards. And this was an opportunity for him. So, his brain worked rapidly. Currently, there are only three ways I can improve my strength. One is to enter the grandmaster level of my force controlling skill, enter the one drop rebirth realm, and increase my fighting experience. In this battle, for the first time in his life, Wang Wei understood the importance of battle experience. With each clash with DTN, he found that the latter can not only use the best method to deal with any situation, he can use the right amount of force or technique, and more importantly, he can target Wang Wei's weakness with each attack. A powerful cultivator's weakness is not static but is constantly moving around. It depends on the cultivator's origin essence, spiritual power or soul, fleshly body, and many other factors. And when it comes to a master of the flesh like Wang Wei, his weaknesses are very small and constantly changing to prevent others from targeting them. Yet, DTN can find that weakness with every attack, thus drastically increasing the effectiveness of his attacks. It's like he was playing a game and could hit a critical hit attack 100% of the time. While Wang Wei was thinking of a solution to his problem, he did not stop clashing with DTN, however, he never even made a scratch on the ladder. As for him, the only reason he was barely holding by was because of his ability to turn into an element. Usually, only through time and constant battle can experience be increase, however, I have another way, thought Wang Wei. The Pagoda Trials. In many of the trials, he lived a very long and many lives and experienced countless battles. And since the illusion world in the Pagoda is extremely realistic, it is possible to bring back the experience inside to the real. As a matter of fact, many disciples used the Pagoda for this purpose in addition to using it to refine their will, mind, and Tao heart. The reason that Wang Wei never did so was because of the memories of his past life. Because of his experience, a part of his mind could not help compare the Pagoda Trial with virtual reality games. This way of thinking allowed him to be more resistant to illusion but it also prevented him from fully using the trial to its fullest level. After making a plan, Wang Wei immediately began to execute it. He began to remember his time as a devil when he lost his mind to power. He fought countless battles all over the world and became the final winner. Then, there was his battle with the wrath of heaven. In that trial, he always had to start from scratch and reach the peak of the cultivation world. In the process, he fought all over the world, cultivating and creating many techniques to prepare for his final battle. He reviewed all his 10,000 attempts over and over again while rapidly absorbing the battle experience he learned. And while doing so, he also found another benefit. In many of his attempts against that finger, he also cultivated his fleshly body to an unimaginable level. As such, he also learned to control his power to precision. Amongst the memory he has, he did have a counterpart that could control every atom in his body to utilize force. So, 
Wang Wei focused on that memory to see how he did so in the pagoda, then, modify it to account for the difference between the illusion world and the true world. Then, Wang Wei felt something click inside his mind. He punched forward while controlling all the atoms in his body to generate force. Boom. His original power which was a few quadrillions of jinn of force jumped to quintillion. And this was not the end. During the entire battle, Wang Wei had to fight a familiar force from DTN's attack that greatly hindered his healing capabilities. He always felt that power was familiar and he finally identified it, the Dewey Realm or True Will Power that he acquired after reaching the 13th level of the Body Refining Realm. Before this, he did not know much about how to use this power besides using it to destroy the foundation of people with weaker strengths than himself. However, after observing DTN's attacks who also has the Dewey Realm, he knew that this thing was used not only to amplify attacks but also to destroy defenses and prevent the regenerative abilities of others. After recognizing that power, Wang Wei finally understood why the first time he met DTN at the academy, when he left his true will at the front door he was not affected in the least and could ignore it. After making that punch with his new breakthrough, DTN blocked the attack with his palm before slapping Wang Wei away. He then looked at the slightly white mark on his palm. Growing in the midst of battle. Typical action of people with great luck and destiny. However, this is not even close to being enough, he thought. So far, his strength and talent only make him on par with five reincarnations, so, how could he has a chance against me for the heaven will? Chapter 394. Useless Wang Wei knew that it won't be long before DTN got real serious, so he has only a small window of time to improve his strength. He wanted to finish tempering his blood and maybe even refine the dragon blood and bones he had. But he knew that time was not on his side, so he could only focus on tempering his blood. The first two sections of the tempering were completed, only the last part of enlightenment was needed. Before, Wang Wei did not have a clue about his enlightenment but now, he had the path-seeking stone that Wu Hong gave him. He separated some spirit particles to enter his space ring to activate the power of the stone. Meanwhile, he focused the rest on his battle. In his ancient desolate god form, Wang Wei's power did drastically increase. Adding to that the new experience he absorbed in the pagoda especially in the last trial, his strength reached an unprecedented height in his life. Suppress, said Wang Wei, activating his, emperor's words or law, ability. And as expected, the suppression power created by this ability had no effect whatsoever on DTN. However, Wang Wei only wanted to buy some time, no matter how little it was. Limit boost. He said once again activating the ability, this time using it to power himself, boating his strength to the limit that his ability allowed. He then used his two fingers as a sword and slash. Fate severing. He directly targeted DTN's fate line trying to sever his fate, thus killing him and erasing him from reality. However, a black wheel suddenly appeared behind DTN and connected to his fate line, turning it dark. After the slash touched the line, it felt that it was already severed, already dead so it did not have any effect. DTN basically cheated fate by faking his death. He then looked at Wang Wei and said, disperse. Immediately after, the boost he received from his emperor's words or law was nullified. As a previous Buddhist monk, DTN was aware of too many of their abilities so he recognized the ability that Wang Wei used, then used a similar one to disperse it. As felt the power leaving him and was unable to do anything, Wang Wei was calm. He immediately activated the pseudo-domain granted to him by his young emperor title. By now, the power reduction of the domain was no longer random but could be controlled by Wang Wei. So, he tried to remove half of DTN's strength to give him a chance in this fight. In response, a pseudo-domain of the same origin came from DTN, also nullifying this attack. To him, being a young emperor was nothing special. He was one in his first life during the emperor beginning era. At that time, geniuses were constantly being born into the human race. And since it was a time of war, the Tao heart of these geniuses were properly trained at a very young age, and by great emperors. So, being a young emperor was a very common thing. So, in his first life, DTN awakened a pseudo-domain with the ability to reduce his opponent under the great emperor realm to the same realm as him to fight. So, unless someone could defeat him in the same realm, he was basically invincible. And after going through so many reincarnations, the number of people he encountered who could do so can be counted on one hand. As soon as his domain was nullified, Wang Wei acted again. 
The small leaf that floated on his back turned into a gigantic tree that stood in the empty void. Then, all the branches of the tree turned into metals under Wang Wei's control before rushing towards DTN, trying to entangle him. However, the latter just glanced at the tree before it decayed and died. Before the tree could die, it turned into a raging pink flame trying to refine DTN into a pill. The origin pill flame. Thought DTN before blowing out loud, instantly extinguishing the flame. Then, a slight impatience flashed across his eyes. One of the reasons that he was more lenient in this battle was because of Wang Wei's soul. Not only because of its unique shape in the form of numerous interconnected particles but also because of the quality. In his entire life, he has never seen such a high-quality soul. Additionally, in the recent confrontations, he detected the power of reincarnation from it, confirming that Wang Wei was also a person who reincarnated. As such DTN thought that these variables might be the reason for his future failure in the heaven will. However, his opponent was not using these things and he could not discover any useful information. So, he clenched his fist for a powerful attack to end everything. Previously, he used the second fist in his Nine Samsara Fist technique, Decay of Death. Now, he was going to use the third, Interchangeable Life and Death. As Wang Wei watched the punch coming toward him, he found himself incapable of moving as if the space around was blocked, meaning this punch was inescapable. And as it approached him, he could feel that the concept of life, that existed inside his very essence was rapidly being changed into death. The process was beautiful as it also embodied the concept of yin and yang. However, he also knew that once the process was finished, that would be it for him, his death both his body and soul. As death rapidly approached him, as he felt helpless while unable to move, Time seemed to be going extremely slow for him as he knew that he had a very minuscule amount of time to save his life. From his mind, he knew that he only had to rely on one thing, the path-seeking stone. A few seconds ago, while still in battle, he began to activate the power of the stone to understand his path forward. After the spirit particle did his job, it began to think. What should I become enlightened on? Eternal. Inextinguishable. Immortal. Undying. All of these are various options but not my way forward. What I need is something unique to me. So, what can rival these concepts? What can make my body indestructible? Should I ponder the concept of indestructible itself? The purpose of this part of blood refining is to imbue the body with a powerful concept that will make it impossible to be killed, to be destroyed. In essence, ensure that it could survive any situation. In this universe full of cultivators that control different concepts of reality, there are way too many ways for them to destroy something. It's not impossible for someone to find a way to destroy eternity, to erase something inextinguishable, or to annihilate some undying existence. So, what can replace these concepts? Nothingness. If my body was made of nothingness, then how could someone or something destroy it? The very concept of nothingness implies non-existence, a state of absolute incorporeal, of emptiness, of what is not. As the stone guided Wang Wei to his enlightenment, a sublimation took place that started from his blood before rushing throughout his body. And the moment it was finished, Wang Wei knew that he had entered another realm in his path of body refining. Unfortunately, it did not change his deathly situation that much at least not immediately. In the nanoseconds that it took him to finish his understanding and undergo his transformation, Wang Wei also calculated another plan to save his life. And this plan was similar to the previous one he used. Right before the punch hit him, he controlled the bone spikes on his back to squeeze out a drop of blood and shoot it out with tremendous force from his body. Once that punch hit him, there was no major explosion or anything else for that matter. With a calm look on his face, Wang Wei closed his eyes as if he had passed away from a natural cause. His body was perfectly intact but all the parts stopped functioning like a dead person. Even his soul also dispersed as normal people do after death. Just like, he was dead. This was the horror of this technique, controlling life and death with a single touch. And with how powerful DTN is, how many people can resist such an attack. With a calm look on his face, DTN looked at the other Wang Wei that was a few thousand kilometers from him. Blood rebirth. He muttered. With that single drop of blood, he was able to instantly recreate his body and soul and revive himself. After saying these words, he focused on Wang Wei's fleshly body as he could feel that the concept that the latter used for his enlightenment might be unique and powerful. Meanwhile, 
Wang Wei had a look of fear on his face as he felt his new body, and it was not because of that punch that almost killed him. It was because of something that happened during the enlightenment process. Chapter 395. Worry outside of the heavenly abode, more than 50 supreme realm true monarchs were constantly bombarding the crystal wall of this world. No one hesitated as they used their most powerful attacks. Amongst them, eight of them had weapons on them that exuded powerful and mysterious Tao rhymes, emperor artifacts. Unfortunately, even with these weapons, the crystal wall remained intact. Meanwhile, Yu Yan was holding a lamp in her hand while observing it quickly. The flame of the lamp which was once exuberant was rapidly dimming. And many times, it was instantly extinguished before reigniting, almost scaring her to death. Wang Tian, it's not working. How about you mobilize another emperor artifact? No, in this situation, one artifact has to remain to guide the sect, replied Wang Wei's father. In that case, how about I used the one from the Yu family? Wang Tian pondered for a moment before shaking her head. With how his mother-in-law doted on Wang Wei, she would not hesitate to mobilize their family-only emperor artifact. Things could become complicated because the Yu clan only has one artifact. I can't do this, I can't do that. Our son is dying. How can you remain so calm about this, she yelled. However, Wang Tian just calmly said, Do you think I'm not worried? But in this situation, acting rash could make the situation worse. Right now, his brain is constantly working trying to come up with a solution to the current situation. When he heard his son was in trouble, he did not hesitate to mobilize eight of the nine emperor artifacts. He also woke up many of the sleeping true monarch to help rescue him but it was no use. This kind of lineup is enough to destroy most of the supreme lands in the entire myriad emperor world, or even forcibly occupy a few great thousand worlds. This alone showed that something outside of his understanding occurred. How could eight quasi-emperor using emperor artifact could not even slightly affect the crystal wall? Although Wang Tian knew the vast difference between the two realms, however, things were still not adding up. Should I wake up the Tao ancestors and immortal venerables? Thought Wang Tian. They should be able to move some of the emperor formations of the sect to this world and use its power. After thinking about this, he prepared to take action. However, something appeared. Countless runes appeared in the void and someone else appeared. It was Wu Hong or a clone of her. She looked at the crystal wall and her eyes easily penetrated inside where she saw Wang Wei's terrible situation. Then, she looked at the sky where a powerful formation enveloped the entire world. And in the center of that formation, she could feel more than nine emperor artifacts that were strengthening the crystal wall. Finally, her eyes landed on Li Jun's body and she squinted slightly before removing them. She sighed out loud. Wang Wei will be fine, said Wu Hong. Although he will suffer, he will be fine. Honger. Do you know what's going on? Hurriedly asked Yu Yan. Then, she briefly explained some of the situations inside. Damn the D clan, I will destroy their entire clan, said Yu Yan with gritted teeth. Wang Wei is now in the primordial spirit realm, and according to the rules, his death at the hands of other heaven chosen is perfectly normal, said Wang Tian. What are you trying to say? replied Yu Yan, almost hissing at him. You should be aware of how cruel the path of emperor is, and should have long prepared for this possible outcome, added Wang Tian, who then looked at Wu Hong. Are you sure he's going to be all right? If needed, I can still mobilize the power of the Wang clan. As the patriarch of the Wang clan, he can mobilize all its power even to the detriment of the entire clan. And if necessary, Wang Tian will not hesitate to ruin most of the foundation of the clan for his son. Although his decision is a selfish one that goes against his education as the leader of the clan, he did not care. And knowing his grandfather, he would also support him in his actions. As I said before, he will suffer. However, with the resources of your sect, you should be able to put him back together, replied Wu Hong. And after hearing this, Wang Tian secretly sighed in relief. A lot of the burden on his shoulder was lifted. He could even see his wife was also relieved. Unfortunately, the worry on her face was not completely dissipated. Her eyes were only focused on the lamp that was constantly flickering, signaling that Wang Wei's life was only hanging by a thread. Wang Tian approached his wife and embraced her. I'm sorry, honey. No, I should be the one who. Yu Yan had not finished her words when she felt a shock in her primordial spirit and she passed out. While holding his wife, Wang Tian yelled, Someone come bring the madam back to the sect to rest. 
One of the saint elders of the sect hurried to Wang Tian's side to bring Yu Yan back to the sect. You're going to be in a lot of trouble when she wakes up, said Wu Hong. It's better than seeing her constantly suffering like this. I don't think you give mother-in-law enough credit, she would not collapse so easily. You're right, replied Wang Tian. In most situations, she is the calmest and most rational of all of us. And in terms of intelligence and planning, ten of me cannot equal one of her. However, when it comes to wire, she loses all her rationality. Plus, I just did not want her to suffer through this. Wu Hong nodded her head, however, her body suddenly became a little transparent. Are you all right? It's fine. It's just that the place that my main body is makes it difficult to keep a clone outside. Are you sure you're all right? If you need help, you can just ask, said Wang Tian. I know. All right then. However, do not forget. Wire has now entered the primordial spirit realm, so it's about time for your marriage ceremony. I would never forget, replied Wu Hong with a smile before disappearing. Meanwhile, Wang Tian sighed thinking about whether it was truly a good idea for his son to marry such a powerful and mysterious person. However, Wang Tian just shook his head. Because of how things turned out for him and his wife, he would never intervene in his son's love life. Back then, if it was not for his father who stood up for him and withstood the pressure from the sect, he might never have had a chance of being with his wife. So, as soon as his son was born, he warned the other factions not to intervene in his son's love life, no matter who he chose as Dao companion. Wang Tian took a moment to remove these distracting thoughts from his mind, then focused his eyes on his son's soul lamp. Now, it was his turn to watch it and worry. Suddenly, both he and Wang Chong felt something and their faces instantly became more serious. Only one thought appeared in their minds. Has things reached such a dire state? Inside the heavenly abode world. Wang Wei had a look of fear on his face. During the process of enlightenment on the concept of nothingness, Wang Wei underwent a mysterious transformation. However, it was not a good one. As his body began to contain properties of nothingness, he discovered that he was slowly fading away turning into nothingness itself. After all, his fleshly body is considered something, so how could it exist as nothingness? This itself is a paradox. If Wang Wei wants to have the power of nothingness, he has to find a way to enter a state of both nothingness and existence like the quantum supposition state. Unfortunately, his current ability does not allow this. So, at the last minute, before forever turning into nothingness, forever becoming non-existent, he divided the state of nothingness into four intangible, emptiness, void, and true nothingness. It was this split decision that saved him from being completely obligated by his own enlightenment. As he felt the power granted to him by the intangible state of his body, he rapidly pondered on how to make good use of it. So little time. Would it be useful? I guess we have to try to know. Plus, it may not be absolute. Then, a terrifying fighting intent emanated from his body, thus drastically increasing his fighting prowess. Meanwhile, DTN focused his eyes on Wang Wei. What rapid progress. Moreover, he seems to have understood a unique concept for his blood enlightenment. At this rate, he should reach the strength of six reincarnations and be on par with Empress Wu. Unfortunately, this is not enough to reverse his fate. Chapter 396. Trump cards his new state granted him the power of intangibility, meaning he was untouched by all forces in the natural world including the power of laws that govern the known universe. So, with this boost in power, he rushed toward DTN not fearing the latter's attack. He waved his hand to use an attack. Destiny of Death. A gigantic gray made of strings descended from heaven towards DTN. The palm contained the power of destiny, with the ability to control the ultimate fate of all things in existence, death. As this attack rushed towards him, DTN frowned as he could feel that this was a technique recently created based on his interchange life and death. While he used the power of reincarnation to control life and death, this technique used fate to control life and death, essentially, the same result using different means or methods. What a terrifying comprehension, he thought, finally getting a glimpse at Wang Wei's potential. All the attacks in his nine samsara fist are the pinnacle of all his abilities or comprehension. It took him ten lifetimes to refine each of them to the pinnacle. With each comprehension he has during a reincarnation, each experience, he added it to his scripture. However, Wang Wei managed to easily copy more than 70% of one of his attacks after seeing it once. 
Is this the level of comprehension granted to him by his strange soul? Thought DTN as he punched the gray hand and instantly destroyed it. He is indeed a variable, so he cannot be allowed to live any longer. No one can stop me from proving the Tao in this generation. This is my last chance. He rushed toward Wang Wei at an increase of his speed. This time, even the river of fate could not keep up. He punched using the first fist in his scripture. The last breath. This is a technique that destroys all matter in the universe, capable of atomizing anything that it touches. This technique contained not only the principle of death but also destruction. Boom. The powerful fist hit Wang Wei's body, sending a powerful shockwave in the dark, empty, and lonely void. However, he was perfectly intact. In his current state, nothing including laws could touch him. Intangibility. Even his soul is in that state. Although I could use overwhelming force to remove him from that state, it would be better to wait since he could not last long anyway, thought DTN. However, after making that plan, he frowned for some reason. Nevertheless, he still executed his plan. With his absolute speed, he began to kite Wang Wei's attacks, preventing them from even touching him. Meanwhile, Wang Wei knew that he was in a very bad predicament. No matter what attack he used, it was useless. Plus, his intangibility state was rapidly running out because he just learned of it and it was unstable. During this battle, Wang Wei learned a hard truth. His fate abilities were limited in power when confronting truly powerful individuals. Not only that, but they also lacked versatility. Of course, he also knows one of the reasons for that is the power of laws needed to truly exert the full power of fate. Nevertheless, it was still a shortcoming. One that he actually found a way to deal with in this battle. In this fight, he realized that life, death, reincarnation, and time are all part of fate. People are born, they age, they get sick, and die. This is all part of fate. As such, he can control these Tao's through fate without having to study them individually although doing so would help. He learned that fate is such an encompassing Tao that does not lose with chaos Tao that contains all Tao's. So, Wang Wei knows that as long as he finds a way to survive this encounter, he can review this entire fight to learn from it and absorb DTN's use of life and death Tao. Exactly one minute later, his intangibility ended and Wang Wei was painted up. Given how powerful his fleshly body shows how much an impact this state has on him. I guess it's time I used my trump card. Damn, this damn crying is becoming more and more difficult to block. Plus, what's with this rancid smell? He took out a talisman from his space and ring and used his origin essence to activate it. However, nothing occurred. How come? This was something given to him by his beautiful, sexy, and powerful wife. What did you do? Asked Wang Wei. Since I know she is your biggest supporter and reliance, how would I not take preventive measures? Replied DTN. After his defeat at the hands of Empress Wu, he was obsessed with her for a while not because of her beauty, but because of her strength. So, DTN spent many of his reincarnations reviewing the battle against her learning from his defeat, and planning on how he would face her again if he had the chance. Based on his analysis, after she defeated him and absorbed his devil's body talent and power, her strength reached eight reincarnations, and based on this knowledge, DTN knew that his current self could easily defeat that version of Empress Wu. The nine reincarnation was truly a world apart from the other eight. It could be said that the increase in strength is even greater than the other eight combined. Unlike the other reincarnations that were required to reach the quasi-realm to absorb the cultivation level of the previous life, the ninth reincarnation would undergo a change in each cultivation realm. From what DTN remembered, he had the strength of the supreme realm as soon as he entered the divine altar realm. And by the peak, he already had the strength of a quasi-emperor. And now, in the primordial spirit realm, he could not fathom how strong he was. So, with his power along with the help of a formation and a few emperor artifacts, it's very simple to block the method of Wu Hong based on his countless years of studying her. Without saying anything else, Wang Wei put the talisman away, then, a third eye appeared on his forehead, the heavenly eye of fate. This was an ability he awakened after opening his third eye chakra. This ability was related to his fate puppeteer physique and allowed him to summon a projection of the river of fate. However, in this world, Wang Wei could summon the real thing, plus, he used the 8 trigram turtle shell from the Heaven Mystery Pavilion to boost the ability of this eye. Then, 
The river of fate rushed towards Dtn who had a rare solemn look on his face as he knew what would happen if he allowed this river to wash over him. He could disappear entirely as his existence is washed away, forcibly erased from the annals of history. Anyone who ever knew would cease to remember, their memories wiped away, it would be as if he never existed. He could be assimilated by the river thus turning into someone completely different, his fate forever forcibly altered. It could be transferred to someone else or divided between different people. Either way, if that happened, DTN knew that he would lose everything. His talent, strength, dreams, goals, and ambitions. He would no longer be himself. Another possible effect of the river of fate is to be stuck inside in the form of exile. And if that were to happen, he knew that he could not survive long inside even with his power. It would only be a matter of time before being assimilated. As the river approached him, DTN could tell the purpose after a rapid analysis. This attack was meant to seal him inside, it was a combination of the power of fate and the sealing abilities of Empress Wu. With a wave of his hand, an illusory river also appeared around DTN to protect. The river was pure white with glitters scattered all over. Each of these myriad glitters shone more brightly than any stars. As soon as Wang Wei saw that river, his life flashed across his eyes. Basically, he saw everything that happened to him in his early years on Earth, then, he saw his birth in this world and all the things he did in his 1000 years of cultivation. Once the vision reached the current presence, Wang Wei immediately cut it off as he had a feeling that something terrible would happen if he continued watching. Then, he muttered. The River of Time. As soon as the projection of the River of Time appeared, it easily blocked Wang Wei's River of Fate. After seeing the outcome, Wang Wei did not even have the time to sigh as he knew that time was running out. The river of fate did not only attack DTN but also the formation that surrounded this world. Unfortunately, the formation was more powerful than he imagined and easily defended against the attack. Over the course of this battle, Wang Wei wanted to take some time to analyze the formation to see if he could find a weak spot on it and break it. Unfortunately, he had to focus all his soul, mind, and spirit on this battle. Even with all his spirit particles, he could not divide his mind to study this formation. Even when he did so with the path-seeking stone, he was taking a gamble and risking his life. After seeing his attack once again fail, Wang Wei waved his hand, and two gray orbs floated in front of him. If this next attack fails, then, I might have to rely on luck to survive this situation. Chapter 397 The Truth I Wang Wei absorbed the two floating orbs inside his body, and as soon as he did so, two giant figures appeared behind his back. These two figures were his grandfather and father. The two gray orbs that he absorbed were an application of the fate-stealing technique. By copying and storing the fate of someone else, Wang Wei can temporarily use their powers. As the two most powerful people that he knew, Wang Wei copied their fate. When he developed this technique, he wanted to copy his wife's fate. Unfortunately, she was too powerful for him to do so. Additionally, this technique required a lot of time, consent, and aid from the person whose fate is being copied. Plus, it seems to work better with people that are closely related to the caster. After the two images appeared behind Wang Wei, his physique's vision also appeared, then, his father and grandfather fused with the vision. That way, Wang Wei who sat on a throne with the river of fate under his feet suddenly changed. His robe turned into a golden armor, his temperament became more overbearing, more unruly. It was as if he had become a tyrant that forced anyone who stood in his way to bow down and surrender to him. In his hand was a beautiful sword full of dragon and phoenix designs. On the hilt of the sword was the character for heaven. Then, Wang Wei in the vision stood up from his throne that hovered above myriad worlds and races. A sword cry riveted across heaven and earth before a sword chi bigger than a universe gathered in the sky. The vision finally slashed its sword. Absolute fate slash. Just like the name implied, this slash was absolute, final, so it cut through anything that stood in its way. It was simply unstoppable or so it should be. As DTN watched that slash rushing towards him, he thought, this Wang Tian's talent can compare to the Sword Empress. In his long life, only three eternal emperors have officially defeated him in battle. And amongst these three, his defeat against the Sword Empress had the greatest impact on him. This was because of how easily he was defeated. With just a swing of her bamboo sword, DTN's body and most of his soul were annihilated. So, as a person who learned from his mistake, he also studied swordsmanship during his long life. 
He gathered sword scriptures from all over the world through his sleepers, including the Sword Empress, Heaven Slashing Sutra. So, his accomplishment in the field is quite high. Even if his talent is not on par with her and Wang Tian, his long years of studying the subject more than make up for that. So, after making a spear shaped palm, he slashed with one hand, creating a powerful slash to block that heaven shattering attack. Unfortunately, DTN slightly underestimated the power of that slash. As it was a combination of Wang clan's three generations, it also represented the concept of the past, present, and future. Wang Chong is the past, Wang Tian the present, and Wang Wei the future. So, this attack also contained time power. The moment the two slashes clashed, DTN felt a powerful pressure pressing on his body. On top of that, that pressure seemed to drastically slow time, making his actions and thinking process extremely slow. With his understanding of Time Dao, DTN quickly nullified the attack, but this was not all the power of the slash after all. As it was a combination of three people, there was also a third characteristic. A powerful illusion boosted by all of Wang Wei's paragon quality soul. Suddenly, DTN's eyes seemed to blur as if he was confused. He raised his hand to caress the empty air. Then, he smiled. Although it was obvious at first sight that this was the first time he had a genuine smile on his face in a very long time, it still appeared beautiful. Ninger, he muttered while smiling and caressing the air. Two lines of tear dripped down on his face in the process. And even after that slash hit his body, creating a wound more than 30 centimeters long, he did not react. I'm running out of time, thought Wang Wei. He saw that one of his trump card attacks had created so little damage and he knew how dangerous the situation was. He immediately activated his heavenly eye of fate to connect to the river of fate of this world. Then, he slashed once again, this time directing his attack at the river. And with that single attack, he was able to servers that river of fate from its main branch. While using the power of the river during this fight, Wang Wei learned something new about fate. There is a river of fate that is considered the main branch. It's responsible to weave the fate of all beings in existence and contains all information about all lives. However, to function properly, many smaller rivers are detached from the main ones, creating branches. And each world in the endless void contained a branch of the river of fate. Based on the power of the world, each branch will have a different level of strength. So, with that attack, Wang Wei severed the connection of this branch to the main river. Then, he had his vision absorb the entire river of fate thus once again boosting his strength. Then, he did do hesitate to slash a third time with his newfound strength. Unfortunately for him, by then, DTN had already woken up. Although Wang Wei's soul outclassed him in terms of quality, it cannot come close to DTN in terms of quantity. After living through ten lives and nine reincarnations, the quantity of his soul is astounding. So, he used it to break through the illusion. Then, an intense killing intent emanated from DTN's body as his wound instantly healed. The bloodlust in his body could no longer be contained. Nine Samsara Fist. Yellow Springs. DTN punched forward and a yellow river manifested into the void. It rushed straight toward Wang Wei, easily destroying his slash attack before bombarding his vision into pieces and forcing him to vomit blood. Then, it enveloped him. Immediately, Wang Wei felt his primordial spirit being washed away. His memories, identities, personality, mind, and spirit were being forcibly erased turning him into a mindless puppet. Wang Wei could tell that this attack was based on the idea of washing away the previous life memories before reincarnating, but more vicious. He knew that in just a few seconds, he would be nothing but a shell of his former self. So, he gathered a large portion of his spirit particle and detonated his entire body. There was no hesitation in his actions. Boom. The explosion of his self-detonation pushed away from the river that imprisoned him. Meanwhile, in one of the many drops of blood that survived the explosion, a new body was instantly regrown. Unfortunately, a lot of his few remaining spirit particles once angina became dimmed. As soon as Wang Wei regrew his body, DTN appeared next to him and punched him into oblivion. Then, the process of being instantly killed over and over again repeated itself. In less than one minute, Wang Wei died more than a hundred times and revived himself, only relying on his own regenerative ability. And unlike the immortality granted by the top 30 heaven chosens, the process of dying was a painful one. 
Entering that state of deep darkness that seemed eternal was a scary thing and most cultivators would have their minds broken by now, and their Tao heart shattered. Luckily, Wang Wei was used to constantly dying during the last trial of the pagoda. So, his will had long been tempered beyond anything any mortal could ever fathom. Suddenly, DTN stopped attacking as he had a frown on his face, he realized that something was wrong. With his ability, as long as he used the Dewey Realm to the full extent, he should be able to instantly kill his opponent and prevent it from regenerating himself. Yet, he did not do so. Instead, he played with his opponent and essentially giving him a chance to live. Thinking about the entire battle, DTN realized that he had never gone for the kill move which is contrary to his original intention. After realizing that something was wrong, he closed his eyes. Then, deep in one of his primordial spirit, he saw a gray chain surrounding it. He removed the chain and broke it. The shackle of fate, is that his innate talent. He muttered softly. He had seen this ability during Wang Wei's battle with Ji Song and he had speculated what it does based on the recordings he reviewed of the battle. And after experiencing it himself, he realized what it was. Wang Wei had placed a shackle or restriction on his mind. To be precise, on his way of thinking. It made him have the thought process that my opponent is weak and not a threat, so I can play with him during this fight. Because of this, DTN did not use his overwhelming strength to instantly kill Wang Wei. Because of this, DTN would talk to his opponent and give him time to recuperate, and even provided him with information. DTN opened his eyes to look at Wang Wei. Since when did you place that shackle on me? From the moment you appeared and I look you straight in the eyes, replied Wang Wei with a sigh. One of his trump cards is that he has been training to use his innate talent more passively and more subtly. He used a very subtle method to place restrictions on his opponent's mind to influence. And the moment DTN appeared and his intuition warned him that he might die, he used this technique to give him a chance of survival. Although it was very difficult to do so because of the large gap in strength, it still succeeded because of his soul. Because this technique does not harm the receiver and is very subtle, it is easier to succeed and prevent backlash. However, Wang Wei knew that it would be a matter of time before it was discovered. Unfortunately, the time had arrived. Furthermore, as Wang Wei looked at his hands which had wrinkles and age spots, he knew that he was running out of time. Chapter 398. The truth too with his divine sense, Wang Wei could see how terrible of a shape he was in right now. For one, his ancient desolate god transformation was long cancelled, as he was unable to sustain it after dying a few dozen times. His luscious gray hair that was once full of life was now gray-white as if it had witnessed many things. His handsome and youthful face was long gone, replaced by that of an old man full of wrinkles and a few age spots. The aura surrounding him had a slight hint of decay, showing that his call to the next life was rapidly approaching. The only thing that showed that this was a young man was his eyes that still shone brightly with life and vigor, there was no turbidness of an experienced old man. His eyes contained wisdom but not one born out of the vicissitude of life, but through knowledge. As Wang Wei looked at his body, he knew that he did not have much time left. The reason he was in such a sorry state was that at some point, he had to use his lifespan to regenerate himself. The previous him who had more than 500,000 years of lifespan had now a little over 600 years left, meaning that he was now an old man in his twilight years. On top of all that, he found small cracks inside his primordial spurt, his divine sea, and divine altar. He knew that this was a result of his foundation on the verge of collapsing. All right, it's time for the last play, he thought. A black thunder suddenly came out of his body to surround and protect him like a sphere. This was the divine punishment thunder sealed inside his body by Wu Hong to continuously temper his body. By now, he could still barely control it for his use. After seeing the black thunder, DTN still had a calm look on his face. A small gem appeared in the middle of his forehead, then, black thunder came from it and surround him as well. Then, he rushed toward his adversary, this time, intending to destroy him once and for all. Meanwhile, Wang Wei was not that surprised after seeing this. The reason that he had access to divine punishment thunder was that he entered the Dewey Realm and had the plan to store this lightning for his own use. Since DTN had also entered the Dewey Realm, it meant that he also survived the same punishment as him. As for the idea of using this thunder for himself, Wang Wei did not think that in all the long history of the Myriad Emperor world, he would be the only one who have such an idea. 
So, he immediately used another technique. After sacrificing another hundred years of his lifespan without hesitation, he summoned the river of fate once again to surround him like a cocoon, acting as another layer of protection. This technique called, fate protection, was inspired by the one Su Ya used during her fight with Lin Fan. It allowed Wang Wei to solicit the protection of all the people or things that are under the control of fate, which is essentially everything. Before now, he could only connect to the river of fate to use this spell but now, he could use the entire river. So, now, from past to present, all the living individuals that ever existed in the heavenly abode world began to protect Wang Wei. All the gods and supreme gods that were ever existed, all the mortals and animals, all the races, the forests, mountains, and rivers, everything was protecting Wang Wei. Yet, with all of this, adding the divine punishment thunder could only buy him a few seconds under a bloodlust DTN. Luckily, the few seconds were all he needed. Wang Wei closed his eyes as he began to once again review his experience in the Nine Pagoda Trials. Until this moment, he did not notice how much of an impact these trials had on his cultivation path. It was responsible for his always calm demeanor in dangerous situations, it instilled in him humility so that he never truly let his victory or advantages over his opponent get to his head. Because of the trial, he knew to never give up no matter how dire the situation, he knew not to let power get over his head, not to take defeat personally, and to do whatever was necessary to survive because only the last man standing is the true victor. Not to mention how it tempered his will, his Tao heart, and his pain tolerance. Thinking about this, Wang Wei focused on his last confrontation with the wrath of heaven. In that last battle, he was nothing but a mortal, and yet, he still managed to injure such an all-powerful being. The reason for that? By simply relying on his will. Wang Wei focused on that attack he used to injure that hand. He tried to feel that very same state to understand it, and eventually replicate it. As he felt deep under that state, he realized something. That powerful will that he manifested in that confrontation did come from his two years of constantly fighting the wrath of heaven without stopping. No, it came from his time on earth, to be precise, after his death when he was swallowed by the space crack. After he was swallowed by that crack, he relied on the blue spots scattered in the void-like space. Wang Wei had always thought that he only spent a little time in that space before he found that white light and reincarnated. But he was wrong. He spent countless yuan epochs traveling in that desolate space trying to reach one blue spot after another. And one yuan epoch is equal to 1.269 trillion years. So, a mortal with no cultivation, with his soul on the verge of collapse, spending so much time alone in this dark and empty space. 99.9999% of people would die of loneliness or take their own life to end the suffering. As for the rest, they would simply give up midway. However, Wang Wei endured that loneliness that seemed to stretch for an eternity. Whether it was his desire to survive, his stubbornness, or simply not knowing the concept of giving up, he held on for eons. This resulted in him cultivating a powerful will, unlike anything that has ever existed in the cultivating world. However, after going through reincarnation, his soul was too powerful, so he had to sacrifice a lot of it in the process. Additionally, with his new soul, plus the new baby body that he was inheriting, he had to seal his will to protect his body as it was too weak to bear. And during the last pagoda trial, he brought some of it out. And right now, he was doing the same. Wang Wei opened his eyes and sighed in disappointment. By now, DTN had already torn apart his defense and was standing in front of him. Without hesitation, he punched forward. A supreme will that could defy the odds, that neglected the very concept of logic itself emanated from that punch. It was supreme, almighty, and unstoppable. For the first time since this fight, DTN's face became very serious as he felt the power of that punch. He mobilized all the power in his body including his nine divine seas and nine primordial spirits, to bless his body with the power of heaven and earth. Boom. DTN was sent a dozen kilometers away, with half of his body completely annihilated. He looked like a mutilated corpse floating in the void. Meanwhile, Wang Wei sighed after seeing this. In the process of tapping into that powerful will, he failed, or at the very least, did not completely succeed otherwise there would be nothing left of DTN after that attack. The reason for that was simple. His body could not accommodate such power. Wang Wei guessed that even if he was in peak shape, he could still not bring out all the power of his will. In fact, even if he reached the peak of the quasi-emperor realm, he might not succeed. 
otherwise, the consequence is that he would simply be disintegrated into particles and die. Crack. Wang Wei heard this sound and quickly checked his body. As expected, his divine sea had even more cracks along with his primordial spirit. His body became even thinner than any mummy making him look like a very terrifying demon. His lifespan only had a little over 200 years left. Meanwhile, DTN used the same tactic as Wang Wei. He opened his mouth to bit the tip of his tongue and spit out a drop of very pure blood. Then, a new body was instantly regenerated from that drop. As for his previous damaged body, he placed it inside his space ring. This attack reached the level of eight reincarnations. Although it seems very circumstantial, this shows the terrifying talent of this Wang Wei. He must be killed. Then, DTN rushed toward Wang Wei at a speed hundred thousand times the speed of light and slapped him with all his strength. Chapter 399, The Truth End DTN looked at Wang Wei's body that was sent flying away with a deep frown on his face. Just now, when he decided to attack with all his strength, he made a mistake in the amount of force used. With all his years of experience and control over his body, how could he make a mistake? Luck, he muttered. While thinking about it, he felt a mysterious power that subtly influenced him to make the mistake. And that power was luck. Meanwhile, Wang Wei had a sigh of relief after being sent flying. At the last moment, he activated the ability he acquired from the Qi Luck Trial to become a son of destiny. This is the reason that DTN made a mistake at the last moment. This is the reason he survived that attack. While flying away, Wang Wei felt like he broke through some kind of space barrier, and when he landed, he found himself inside a small world. Immediately, he saw a blood red stone on the ground next to his landing spot. Immediately, Wang Wei knew that this stone was his life saving straw. He held it in his hand while observing it with his divine sense, which was very unstable and on the verge of collapsing. Then, Wang Wei laughed out loud maniacally, however, deep inside was a touch of sadness. Is this the power of the Son of Destiny? Who would have thought that one day, I would have to rely on pure luck to survive? The world is truly full of ups and downs. After saying this, a lot of his very hidden arrogance was washed away he became more mature. With one check, Wang Wei knew that this stone was once bathed in the blood of a great emperor. To be precise, the blood of the god king that all the gods in this world revered. Because of this, a soul was slowly nurtured and even gained some sentience after so many years. After a few years, a new spirit race would be born, and one with unmatched talent as well. Without hesitation, Wang Wei sacrificed a few more dozens years of his lifespan to activate his spiritual power to seal the soul inside the stone, sealed it, and placed it inside his space ring. Then, he looked at DTN who had torn the space of this small world. Feeling a sense of danger, he rushed straight toward Wang Wei to finish what he started. However, a golden light came out from the stone and enveloped DTN. Once Wang Wei could see anything again, only an eyeball was floating in front of him with a small cauldron surrounding it. Emperor artifact, he muttered. Then, DTN's body instantly regenerated. Emperor level attack, he said while looking at the blood red stone. A few seconds later, he sighed. There is nothing I hate more than people who has luck on their side. You talked as if destiny has never been in your favor, replied Wang Wei. I despise destiny, said DTN, his voice full of hatred. I have been fighting it all my life, and it has never been kind to me. He took a deep breath. Well, it doesn't matter since I'm still the winner. Yes. You're the winner, and I'm the survivor, replied Wang Wei calmly. As soon as he said these words, he felt that something had left him and was absorbed by DTN. He knew that it was the Eternal Emperor's destiny. As the victor of this battle, DTN is entitled to this compensation just like Wang Wei once took some destiny from all his victory against Ji Song and his victory against Lin Fan. With this destiny, DTN's strength will increase, he can use it to survive most dangerous situations and many more. In general, his chance of becoming an eternal emperor has greatly increased. Although he knew this, Wang Wei did not care that much. This is how the battle of the throne was. Heaven Chosens fought to kill one another or take away each other's luck or destiny. One defeat did not mean much. As for the reason that Wang Wei did not use the stone to defeat or kill DTN, that's because he knew that it was impossible. The stone only absorbed a few drops of blood from the God King. 
and after so many years of nurturing that spirit race, not much power is left. So, he could probably activate it only once or twice more, which is not enough to kill DTN given the fact that he survived the first attack. The best course of action for Wang Wei is to use this stone to break through the formation that blocked this world. As long as he reunited with his sect, he would be safe. Both he and DTN knew this, so they decided to stop this fight as it was pointless at this point. DTN then looked at Wang Wei with a sneer on his face, Do you think that this is the end? Do you think you will come out of this without any consequences? What do you mean? Look around you, said DTN. Immediately, Wang Wei took a deep look at his surroundings for the first time ever since this battle began. Fist marks and sword scars could be seen in everything in the space. He saw that there was nothing but an empty void, with even the sun and the moon destroyed. There were no living things in sight. All the habitants of this world whether mortals, gods, animals, women, children, and the elderly were all dead. All casualties of this battle. Then, Wang Wei's face became ugly. After inspecting his body, he could smell a terrible rotten stench along with a red hue that surrounded his body and even soul. His aura changed to that of a fiendish one. Anyone who saw him would think that he was a devil that slaughtered countless people simply for his pleasure. Additionally, he finally knew where that crying sound came from. It was from all the grievances that surrounded his body. Trillions of souls crying and blaming him for their deaths and the destruction of their homes. Their cries were impossible to ignore or block no matter the method. This fact alone would drive most people crazy after a certain period of time. Wang Wei raised his head to look at DTN and noticed that he was perfectly fine. He raised his head to look at the formation in the sky, his face becoming even more unsightly. Finally noticed, said DTN. As an excellent strategist, he knew that there was a great chance that he would not be able to kill Wang Wei despite the overwhelming difference in strength. The reason is that all heaven chosens are people with tremendous luck and cannot be so easily killed. This is the reason that only after defeating Ji Song three times that Wang Wei finally killed him. This was a manifestation of his luck. Adding to that the fact that Heavenly Dao has been plotting against him for many years, DTN was prepared for his eventual failure. So, one of the purposes of the formation was to place the karmic sin of the death of all the people of this world and its destruction on Wang Wei. And with such terrible karma, many things will go wrong for him. For one, his future cultivation will be dozens of times more difficult, the strength of his soul will decrease because of the grievances, his future heavenly tribulations will be more difficult, and many other negative things. Anyway, my job here is finished. After saying that, DTN disappeared along with the formation and the emperor artifacts that he brought. At some point, he played with the idea of using the artifacts to finish the job. However, after considering it for a moment, he decided otherwise. The Emperor artifacts were powering the formation. If he moved more of them, the people outside can take this opportunity to break the crystal wall and entered. Additionally, DTN knew that having more artifacts was not necessarily a good thing for a single individual. The reason is that even with one artifact, most cultivators could barely use all its power. Most quasi-emperor can only use 5-15% to of the power. As for DTN, he could probably use 20% or more of one artifact. However, Doing so could severely affect his foundation especially in his current state when he does not have the power of law to power up the emperor artifact. Using the artifact in his current cultivation stage would require DTN to use his origin essence, his spiritual power, and blood energy. All things that could affect his foundation. DTN knew how important his cultivation foundation was to him to complete the ninth reincarnation. So, after mulling it over for a few seconds, he decided not to take the risk. According to the data gathered, Wang Wei's potential is currently at 7th reincarnation, while his strange will-related attack reached 8th reincarnation, so, he was still not a big threat to him. What he has to worry about is the outlier, Wu Hong. She's also one of the reasons that he gave up. He did not know what she would do if something happened to Wang Wei. After leaving the heavenly abode world, DTN teleported back to the myriad emperor world, he looked to the sky with hatred and snorted coldly before taking out a wild ball from his head. The white ball entered the ground before completely disappearing, then, DTN returned to his clan. Chapter 400. True Challenge Wang Wei looked at all the destruction around thinking about what just occurred. He checked the karmic sin on his body, but unfortunately, no matter what he did, it could not be removed or even sealed away. 
He tried using Wu Hong's scripture to at least place a temporary seal on it but it was no use, and after studying it a while, he realized the crux of the issue. Incense. In general, faith or incense is not as karmic binding as qi luck, most likely because of its transactional nature. Mortals pray to the gods and offer them incense, and in return, the gods provide them with aid, spiritual substance, and a paradise for their afterlife. Compared to a sovereign who has to constantly keep its people happy and prosperous to retain a dynasty's luck, the power of incense is less karmically binding. This fact should have been in favor of Wang Wei. However, because of DTN's formation, this has become his downside. Because he was the almighty god of the heavenly abode world, he was deeply connected to all the mortals of this world. So when the blame for their death and the destruction of the world fell on him, it made his situation worse. Not to mention the fact that he cut off the river of fate of the world and absorbed it. This act will greatly benefit him once he began to comprehend the law, adding to that the increase in battle prowess the river will grant him. At the same time, this act of him also further deepened the karmic ties he had with the heavenly abode world, which in turn increased the backlash or sins he has to witness. Additionally, the situation was further aggravated when his bone substitution ability was overused in the battle to save his life and could not be used to transfer the karmic sin to it. Truth be told, Wang Wei did not think that this ability would be useful. Since DTN also cultivated the ancient desolate body refining scripture, then he should be aware of this ability. The scripture granted each user different abilities based on the cultivator's talent and level of tempering, however, many talents are common and have been previously recorded by previous cultivators of this scripture. This includes the bone substitution ability and the element control ability from the five organs. So, Wang Wei guessed that DTN would be prepared to deal with that ability. Finally, there is his proving Dao artifact. Since it was made of fate lines of both positive and negative karma, it has some defense against karmic attacks. However, the artifact was almost annihilated by DTN, with only a string left. It would take some time and a lot of resources before it can be repaired. While he was in deep thought, he felt someone rapidly approaching him. He raised his head to see his father and grandfather coming in. It seemed that after this world was destroyed, the crystal wall was slowly fading away. Wire, are you alright? Said Wang Tian as he looked at his son who was older than his own father, and as skinny as a dry corpse. I'm fine, but where is mom? I brought her back to the sect. Good. It's best if she did not see me in this state. Meanwhile, Wang Chong looked at his grandson and the surrounding, it seems that you got wrecked. Wang Tian's lisp twitched after hearing this, thinking that this old man should know that if there was a time to be subtle, this should be it. As for Wang Wei, he laughed a little before saying. You're right, I did get wrecked. Wang Chong nodded his head after seeing his grandson not really affected by this battle. One failure never means much to heaven chosen. The only time failure was unacceptable to them was during the final battle. So, how do you feel? He asked. Excited, replied Wang Wei with his eyes lit up. Before, I was 90% sure that the throne would be mine. And the only reason I left for the 10% was possible changes that DTN and some other people might bring. But now, I have less than 5%, and that's a good thing? Asked Wang Tian. Only by winning a true opponent. Only by surpassing the odds will the throne be truly worth it. To Wang Wei, being a great emperor was nothing but one of the many steps on his path of cultivation albeit a very important one. So, to him, the more challenging the process was, the better the foundation he can establish for future cultivation. And there is no better challenge than a monster like DTN. Thinking of conquering such a tall and almost desperate mountain, a powerful fighting intent emanated out of his body. Unfortunately for him, he was not in the best state to have such a large fluctuation of his spirit, so blood started falling from his mouth. Both Wang Chong and Wang Tian immediately started to instill their origin essence inside his body to heal him. They immediately frowned when they see the true state he was in. His divine sea and altar were on the verge of collapsing along with his primordial spirit. Essentially, his Tao foundation was collapsing. It's good that you're in good spirit but given your situation, you could have died, said Wang Tian, who immediately began to blame himself. The fact that someone could bypass their protection so easily is a great shame. Damn the D-Clan, I should listen to Yu Yan and make them suffer a little. It's shameful to have my father avenge because I lost a battle. Plus, 
How could you lower your head to fight the lower generation? said Wang Wei. There was nothing he despised more than when someone lost, then the older generation came to avenge them. I don't have to deal with DTN, I can still beat his father. Unfortunately, DTN can probably beat us even we three combined, replied Wang Wei casually. He's that strong. Even Wang Chong was a little surprised. Then, Wang Wei sent snippets of the final confrontation to them through divine sense, making them realize that he was right. Anyway, your situation made me realize that this generation's battle is truly perilous to anyone. If something were to happen to you, I do not know if your mother would ever forgive me. I would have been fine. How can you say this in your current state? Wang Wei smiled as he looked at Li Jun and Yan Liling who finally rushed over. Big brother, are you alright? Li Jun wanted to hug him but feared that he might injure him. So, he only raised his hand before putting it down. However, Yan Liling did not have that much reservation and hugged him. She knew if their big brother did not send them outside of the crystal wall, they would have a hundred percent died. Don't need to worry, replied Wang Wei. Truth be told, I was never truly in danger. After saying that, he placed his hand on Li Jun's head to take out a small white square. What's this? One of my spirit particles. When I sent you out of the crystal wall, I detached one of them and give it to you. In case I was truly killed, the sect could use it to revive me. Many things suddenly came clear to these people after hearing this. For example, why did Wu Hong's clone say that he would be fine and so on? Of course, although Wang Wei made his revival appear easy, it would not have been. With his paragon quality soul, it would take a lot of resources to fully revive him, not to mention take a couple of thousand years if not more. Additionally, he would have loose many memories in the process. It's good for you to have thought of a way out, said Wang Tian, genuinely in awe of his son's quick thinking. In such a situation, in the split moment of life and death, not everyone could keep calm enough to make a rational decision let alone come up with a feasible one. Once you get back to the sect, we can fix you right up. However, the problem of your karmic sin will be a real headache. As soon as Wang Tian said these words, Yan Chen appeared in front of the group to hand Wang Wei a bag. What's this? Pill to temporarily alleviate your injuries. Wang Wei opened it to find many supreme tier pills blood energy pill and vitality pill to heal his fleshly body, primordial spirit nourishing pills for his souls, and divine sea stabilizing pill for his divine sea. Based on the heat of these pills, he could tell that many were probably made a few minutes ago. Great timing, replied Wang Wei as he swallowed these pills one by one. Young master, I would like to apologize to you, said Yan Chen. As a Tao protector, he let his young master become in such a state, this is a derelict of his duty. There is no need to blame yourself. Plus, now that I'm in the primordial spirit realm, death at the hands of my peers is not your responsibility. Although that was true, Yan Chen still felt some responsibility. Meanwhile, after consuming the pills, Wang Wei's complexion was no longer as pale. Plus, he did not have to actively use his will to prevent his foundation from completely collapsing. He then raised his head to look at the crystal wall that was slowly dissipating. Go see if there is a way to preserve the wall and take it away. It could be the perfect material to make emperor artifact in the future. Wang Tian's eyes lit up before taking a talisman to contact the quasi-emperors with emperor artifact for them to try. If not, he's prepared to contact more people to take away that wall. After all, emperor materials are rare things.